All right, you want to unmute it? Sir, is that mine? Is that mm -hmm. mine, sir? Yeah, dude. This All stuff right. smells like uh, barbecue meat. You said barbecue meat? Yeah. I'm going to have to try it like this for right now. What's up, everybody? I, I think believe, we're live. I believe we're live. I do believe so. I hey. believe people can hear us. I do believe that it's not paused on my lab phone. Oh, it's definitely paused on my phone. So, there's Lewis that. Cat said we are live. About time, Chad Wall says this is the earliest we've ever been. Give a shit. Welcome back. What's up, everyone? We're the Bourbon Junkies. He's Dan, I'm Sean. And Sean's phone charger's just in the yeah. middle of the table. Professionalism <laughs> at its finest. No. Oh, no. yeah, I was going to say, wait, mine's over there. They're both All mine. we try to do on this channel is be as professional as humanly possible. We just broke one of the lines. <laughs> It killed itself. There's a fine line it there. It did take a dive. So, welcome back, everybody. I'll probably just look over here for right now because it's easier for me to read right here. Eventually, mm -hmm. we're going to figure out how to get, like, a chat window set up so we can actually read chat. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that shit. Um, and it can be, like, in the middle so we can both see it. Yeah. Um, you guys can buy us an iPad. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So... Dude, we should just, so like a shitty Android tablet's got to be able to run chat. You know what I'm saying? You hope. Um, well, come back. ADHD Fishing says, oh shit, round table action. Jeffrey Wax in nice store pick corner. I like how he already recognized yeah. all store picks. Every and lamp. Behind us Turn our lamp picks. on, good sir. I don't. Other way. There we go. There you go. Fuck yeah. Oof. I feel like one of those eagle rares should be on the other side. Well, you did this. Oh, well, I know, but I just got those today. Here. Got a couple, two more uh, Eagle Rare store picks There's there. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six. Six behind it? There's six in total. One, two, three, four, There's seven six. bottles up there. There's eight in total. Unless, oh, I see. I'm seeing a reflection of the lid. Mm -hmm. All right. right, there's seven in total. But thanks for coming, everybody. William <laughs> Davlar, Mark Redding, Linux Cap, Michael Klein. We just talked about that guy. What the fuck? Michael Klein said, are you guys not in HD tonight? I don't know. You tell me. Are we not? <laughs> ADHD no. fishing. Ooh, I love lamp. It looks okay over here. Uh, let us know how the quality. Is, it fo is the lens fog? Oh, God. He's going to trip over something. I don't think it was. The lens doesn't look foggy. It looks okay through the camera. All right. Might have to wait for everything to catch up. I don't know. The internet actually said it was good this time. You're gonna have to clean your, your screen off. Who? Whoever said that. Hi, right, it's bad. Look at it, it's right here too. See it? See how like blurry it is? Yeah, it's not great. It's got a real Get brain. your cell phone out and shoot it. It'll be better. Dude, we're at like 1080 quality, which is super weird. I don't know, dude. This is the best DM's internet can offer. It even says good right there, and it never says good. It does good. not say that. Good. I know, I'm saying, like, historically, it never, it says, never says good. Yeah. So, yeah, man, I don't really know why it's doing that. I wish I could tell you. 1792's looking low. That's because we took one to Texas and killed it. Uh, I got two there's more. a couple behind it, though. I got two more 1792 bottle and bonds today from A and B. Uh, and then I got those two Eagle Rare store picks today. Uh, and then I got that Pinhook War today. Uh... <laughs> I'm trying to think if I bought anything else today. Oh, uh, I don't know. Your wife watch think... these? Uh-uh. Right, Sometimes. She's in the middle of a show, mm. and she's obsessed with it, and it's a terrible TV show. Which one? Jane the Virgin. Oh, God. Okay. Can I open these yet? Yeah, let's do it. So, Fuck Lord's yeah. Rocks sent us... Thanks, everybody, for being here. Uh, Lord's Rocks sent us whiskey socks. Yeah. So, if you want socks... If you don't know, their glasses are some of my favorite to drink with. Oh, oh my god. Baby found there if you're wondering. Oh. Oh shit. Said it's focused on the lamp. Oh. Did you just reset the focus? I thought I did. Three pairs of socks per can. Hold up. I need you to put your hand up or something. Some manual focus. I need you to go to your left a bit more. Yep. This is as far left as she goes, sir. Just set it to auto, or auto, and then hold the button down a little. 
All right, no manual. Yep. Okay, Beep, we're good. Beeping noise. Are you sure that it focused? Yeah. Everyone's gonna tell me how awful it went. Like I was trying to focus. Like I'm pushing the button. <sighs> Nothing's happening. It's not focusing on anything. Let's see if it focused. We'll see here in a second. Give me my socks, All motherfucker. Right. So, needless to say, we, uh, Lord Rock sent us these socks. These are basically dress socks, but with whiskey things on them. <laughs> these are unlabeled. Dude, but, I like these ones. But on the bottom it says, "Bring me a whiskey." And then we got some George C. Staghorn uh -huh. socks. I like those ones. And then we got some, uh, what is that? Eye like droppers, it looks like. It looks like an eye dropper. Like a water dropper? I don't know what that one is. So, if you want some whiskey socks, I, I, finest quality socks, three pairs of awesome socks, and there is even a bottled on and best before date. Yeah. On the side over here. Um, what was funny is I didn't know that we got these, and I told Dan it's just very funny because I'm I'm wearing my my Elijah Craig socks today. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw some of these bad man pajamas on, dude. I didn't wear socks out here just to do this. Wow. Well, it says please wear fresh. Oh yeah. I'm gonna wear these to work tomorrow too, and we don't wear shoes in our office. Like once everybody gets there, we just take off our shoes. Dude, that's weird. Why? I don't know, I work, I work in a lab, so it seems just extra yeah, weird. It's a little different. Oh, yeah, dude, it was definitely out of focus. I don't know if it's better. It wasn't it, doing anything, like, watch. Was... And then you just slide over. Let's see here. And. Socks. Oh, where does it go? You didn't change anything. Oh, oh right there. there. Oh, now it goes. it's in focus. Wow, we were really out of focus. Yeah. Ooh. Well, Sorry. thank God somebody literally just said it's focused on the lamp in the back. Sorry for the first uh, three minutes of that. Look at the quality's better. Wait it's almost like it went from 480 to our uh, 1060-ish. 480? That no, it's probably 360 at that so, point. So, <laughs> thank you, Lord Rocks, for the socks. If you hmm. guys want some, go ahead and pick them up over there. This is not a sponsored video. He sent us these. I said, did you guys see my new product? And I said, no. And he said, check out my new socks that I made, because I like whiskey and I like socks. There's a caterpillar up on your... He's been there for days. All right. When I was doing all this yesterday, he was up there chilling. Needless to say, check out Whiskey Socks oh. from him. Uh, great guy, and they've supported us a lot. Mm. And I'm going to be honest, uh, not too shabby either. Whiskey Socks and... I don't have any rocks, so it doesn't work, but you get the gist. And we're back to normal televised programming. Okay. Just gonna black that out from memory. So, I'm gonna pull the chat back up. We'll mm. get into this. I got some shit to talk about. Um, mm. Let's see. We got a list of shit here. We do. I don't know what the list is. Welcome to Putting on Hosiery with Dan and Sean. I'm assuming that's the word. I don't Ho know it. Hosiery? Well. That might be it, too. Yeah. There's about a 50% chance I was right. Like pantyhose? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, hosiery. Didn't know it could be a verb. It's not. Putting on is a verb. Yep. Putting. Putting a... Okay. Nope. Wrong rabbit hole. <laughs> I haven't drank whiskey in two days, and I'm losing my mind. I, uh, I didn't drink Sunday or Monday, and we're on Tuesday, if you're wondering. I had a beer last night. You are a true blown alcoholic. I want you to know that. <laughs> I, I had a Bud Light. I, 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 had knew, a, I had a flavored water. I knew we would have this conversation, and I knew <laughs> you would say, I just had a beer. Yeah. I knew 100% you did that. Yeah, 100%. A, uh, a I've been too tired. I had a flavored water. I've been too tired to drink. Beer flavored. I didn't have to work Monday. I forgot you worked for a bank. This is what's great. I was wondering why you sent me shots in the middle of the day of you working on this stuff. I, I did like, a lot. I, was I like, got a lot done. That's why is in he here not at work? By myself. Got all this wall paneling up. Got the other shelf in here. Mm -hmm. Everything's mm -hmm. out of that pull bar now mm -hmm. that was in here. So anyways, I got a shit ton done. That being said, I woke up at 7.30 to my alarm. I walked my happy ass upstairs. And I went and got, I turned the shower on and everything. I was, re I was like awakened up. And Ricky goes, what are you doing? And I'm like, getting ready for work. She's like, it's Columbus Day. I'm like, oh, you a, yeah. You a dummy. And she's like, you don't have to go to work. I'm like, oh, I'm going to go back to sleep. And I got in bed. And I'm like, my brain went, you remember how you wanted to get the set done? You wanted to hang the paneling? You wanted to move that? And I'm like, oh, 
so I got up with at that eight. Is you're going right back to doing things yep. <laughs> instead of going back to. So sleep. I got up at eight yep. something, made coffee. I came out here with two pots of coffee, mm-hmm. and then I worked on this till four. Uh, also, why did you set a uh, plate and a, uh, a coffee maker on your washing machine? Oh, I was coming. To, I worked remote today, mm-hmm. and I was coming down from. I work upstairs uh-huh. on the third. I got that. I came down on the second mm-hmm. to take a shower. Yep, I know. And then continued to the first. Yep. I, I continued. By the way, the you just dropped your shit off and then yeah. never picked it back up. <laughs> okay. I was in a hurry. I had to go meet Michael Klein. We went and had coffee, and thanks, so I'm like, "Thanks for the fucking." Well, I dropped him off his glasses. Thanks for the. You said you have to work invite. weekends now. Oh no, that that project got canceled. Oh, it did. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Yeah, hundred percent. Don't have time for that. No, I don't, I don't want to work weekends. And then they were like, we we're like, hey, how important is it? They're like, super. A week later, they're like, it's not important at all. Really? Yeah. yeah that works. All right. So well, we drank quite a bit at the It's Bourbon Night meetup on Sunday. Let Oof. me tell you. So I knew that the meetup was happening. Was that the Waffles meetup that I heard about from people? We weren't cool enough to be invited. Okay. So anyways, I wasn't going to anything. I was not. What's I up? was staying out of that. So. What I was gonna I'm just going to check the brightness setting on my phone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dude, I'm just opening Eagle Rare store picks now for fun. Is why not? You got 19 of them. Okay, Chief. We still have things to do tonight. I don't. I have to sleep tonight. And I haven't drank in two nights. You know what I mean? So I'm just trying to catch up. So with things I want to talk about, updates on Glens and shipping. The people who are on our Patreon, there are, I think, eight people who need Ooh. Glens that don't have Glens. Um, that have been on our Patreon long enough to like hit that subscription point. Just want to let you know if you're part of that, uh, those will be shipping out, I think, this week. So just want to let you know, we know, and I'm doing that. And then um, the if you bought a Kentucky Double. Um, oh, yeah, when are those coming in? So they were supposed to come last week. Okay. And I got on somebody this week about that. And that person said they made them. They're finished. They're done. Okay. Saturday. Yep. But the post office was closed yesterday. Makes sense. Columbus so Day. So they're shipping out this week. So at least they're finally, they're actually done now. So if you bought one of those, that's what's up with that. Uh, Michael Klein said, and then we had coffee for three hours today. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't three hours, but it wasn't not two hours or something like no, that. No, this will not be the cigar corner. This is just the other end of the shed. Yeah, this if is the other. If we smoke cigars in here, that smell would never go away. Mm, it will go right in that ceiling and stay forever. Yeah, roughly. Um... Eleanor reviews. I want to talk about that. We got two bottles yep. of Eleanor. Both we the batches. Nine three and nine four. Yep, they were selling the two batches. So both batches they were selling. We bought one of each. And they actually made it home without breaking. So that was great. We didn't have anything break. I think that my torch is gone. I'm pretty sure. Mine stayed. I know, what? but I think mine's gone. You sure? I went through it and I couldn't find my torch. I found my cutter, but not my torch. But they. <laughs> So we had two torches in the bag. They apparently stole Dan's, and they were like, that other one? That Maybe they fine. didn't even see her. Who knows? I mean, there was so much random stuff Maybe there. they were oh, like, TSA dude. pulled it, and they scanned it, and they're like, there's a, a lighter in there. Pulled one. They were like, just kidding. There's two. Yeah. And mine, I mean, the, ours both had fluid in them. Good. Know, now whatever. you can go buy a double. Um, and then... It's a vastly superior lighter. Uh, things we don't have footage of, or that those are the things we're going to talk about, but there's one more thing I have to show you guys. If you watched the stream while we were there... If you watch that stream, I talked about Trevor Wilson. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and I mean, other people obviously agree with me because things happened at the La Quinta that point to my theory being true. Well, your theory? That he's a good looking man. <laughs> yeah. Right? And I'm not going to get into the La Quinta part, but I have a picture that Hot Buttery Rolls put together oh, God. and posted on Instagram and tagged us in it. I didn't see that. Yeah. So I pulled it down and. Uh, there it is, if you're wondering. Is that Trevor Wilson? What's it say? Huh? What's it say? Literally no one. Yep. Dan of the Bourbon Junkies. Holy hell, has everyone seen how hot Trev is? So he actually took this picture with him in front of a pool with an American flag. His body looks slightly different than that, but it's so well done that that actually looks like it. <laughs> like, no, he looks just like that, actually. So I had to put that up there. Hot Buttery Rolls actually did our Photoshop last week and this week for the live streams too. So he oh, is the man. He we is got to such a baller. For hours, days, 18 weeks. 18 hours, the night of the, the La Quinta. So, Her souls entwined. It felt like an eternity. Um, Johnny Drum said, Bourbon drinkers are the best because they don't try to put on a fake nice persona at all. Listen, I swear to God that when you meet us, 
you will not have any different experience than when you watch our videos. That nope. is something that we have actively pursued. Yeah. Not doing is like now the energy might be different. Like we get tired and we yeah. don't want the videos to be super low energy, but the personalities will be the same. I was a zombie towards the end of that day. Which uh, day? About that uh, 20-ish hour mark. Um, the second day? Saturday? Yeah. yeah. Uh, about the 20th hour, second, fifth, third cigar. You know, that, that mark. Dude, here's the thing. I... My buzz and everything peaked at the end of the whiskey tube day. Mm -hmm. Or I'm sorry, the end of Saturday. Yeah. Bachelor's ball day. Yep. I brought whiskey in the back for us to drink because, I don't know, it's more convenient than everybody getting up and going and seeing the distilleries. I don't know if I was supposed to or not. And maybe I uh, shouldn't have. But we killed two bottles. So Nobody, well, other people had bottles. We, and that's they were true. walking through there. No one had an issue with it. That's true. Okay. So, yeah, that's fair. I've, we I've, just kind of did it because we could... Not have to get up and like go get whiskey, and, and we could just sit around and talk to people share. and have a good time. Yeah, and it was like we knew that people were going to be at tables. Sam and Bobby were at the table due yep. to unfortunate bad planning Scheduling. slash timing on the events part. Sam and Bobby, uh, the event started late, and so Sam and Bobby were supposed to be at their table at two fifteen, but the event started at two fifteen, so that's when that opening ceremony was. So unfortunately, there was nobody back there. So I'm like, well, I'm, we're going to go get whiskey and bring it back. So you guys have whiskey for your, because they were live streaming. So they couldn't just walk away from their live stream. Yep. But it, they wanted to go to the opening ceremony. So they unfortunately got a little so bit screwed over by the time. We got Sam some, and then Dan peer pressured Bobby in the drinking, who was really hung over at the time. My bad. I didn't, I knew he was hung over, but I'm like, ah, ah. <laughs> I found out he was like throwing up hung over. Like, well, okay. I sent him $10 last night and apologized. <laughs> Um, so, Mash and Drum said, what's up, lovelies? Dude, I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now that I love that guy. Do you know the best part of my weekend was um, when he was gracious enough to take a picture of us with Rex and Daniel. And Kyle oh shouted out, say water. And I was like, why would he want him to say water? J he's talking to he's Jason. He's talking to Jason. He's taking this picture. He goes, water. <laughs> Jason... Jason has like, you can tell there's a little <laughs> accent, and then certain words, it's full blown accent. Oh yeah, and it's water is no like one of back. them. Um, Hot buttery roll said he only added three abs to Trevor Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> He'll let you pick which three. Yeah. BJ's, can you turn the camera around, show the rest of the room you're in? We want to see behind the magic curtain. So at some point, we can do that and make that video. But right now, that's on a tripod hooked up to a laptop and a capture card and a bunch like a mic. Look so at that gonna, weird flex. It's going to be... What? You just talked about all of our shit. Well, that's how they can see us. <laughs> that's the only way... It's not a flex. That's the only way this works for you guys. Uh, we us. fucking streamed the uh, phone. It looked great. It looked great. Looked great. Sound great. Framing. Very difficult to get multiple people in a frame on a when cell When you phone. fucking had that fall off the back. Yep. <laughs> Eric Waite came and stole his Glenn. <laughs> and then that thing went right off the back. Yep. Um, let's see. We can talk about the Texas trip a little bit. We're, our video for the Texas trip will be out on Thursday. So, uh, we're not going to talk about the whole trip. No. Nope. But we can talk about all, there are actually a lot less in the video than I thought there was going to be. Mm. So there's things we can we, talk uh, about there. We, we had a really good time and that's why we didn't film a lot. Trevor Wilson said, Dan and I have a newfound bromance. That's fine. And then, listen, dude, I'm telling I you. I get that. Like, Sean used to look like that. <laughs> And then he stopped lifting when we started drinking. He got too comfortable in this relationship. Mm -hmm. And that... <laughs> These are all absolutely true things. No, but like, uh, it was so funny because when we met him, I was like, you're younger than I thought you would be. And in much better shape than I expected. <laughs> just in general. I just don't... Out of like... everyone in the community, we're like... Mm. No, like, I don't think that... I, I just think... assume everyone's you. I think, yeah, kind of. Like, I kind of think about it like... I think a lot of people are older than us. Yeah. Like, if you look at our analytics, a lot of people in this community are older than us, right? And so then I saw Trevor Wilson... I Especially think, you, you old man. I think he's 21, 24. maybe 22. <clears throat> Tops. Mm -hmm. Think he's 22? Is he legal drinking age? Yeah. I gave him whiskey all day. He was stamped. Yeah, so we're just pretending now. Yeah. They let him in. I told him next year, he can. he's like, next year I want a white wristband so I can abuse my power. And I, I told did. him, I'm like, dude, next year just show up and we, we'll have a cameraman. A cameraman, yeah. And then you just hold the camera and come with us. We'll give you a shirt. Yeah. Because I, uh, I like was standing in line to uh, register and stuff. And the lady saw my camera. She's like, are you with YouTube? 
Yeah. She's like, you, no, no, you skipped the line. It was like, mm. They're like, here's your special wristband that lets you skip the line at any point in time. If anyone sees that, they shoo you to the front. Like, I don't, like, I don't, uh, I'm good. I never, I never left. <laughs> so you and me, we went to the opening ceremony. Yeah. We walked into, I talked to Kyle from Bourbon Blind for a while about his awesome mm-hmm. camera. Mm-hmm. Um, we walked into the place where the distilleries were. Yeah. And then we walked out to where the whiskey collab thing, whiskey tube thing was. <coughs> I didn't me. leave that. I know. You had me get you coffee. Until we left. Do you want to know how many regrets I have about it? Not a single one. Yeah, we It talked. was so great. Yeah, we talked about that. It was like, usually uh, we go on trips and like sometimes you get a little sidetracked and you're like, oh man, I wish it would have gone this way and we kind of would have done this more or, you know, went and talked to this person and yeah. stuff like that. And like we were leaving the event with like no regrets on that entire trip mm-hmm. or that day spent. We were just out with people just having a good time. And that's, I mean, honestly kind of what the event was about. Yeah. And the only thing I wanted to do that I didn't get to do on the whole trip, I wanted so badly to talk to Rex about YouTube things. Mm-hmm. It was it. It was one thing I wanted to do. I got to talk to Rex, but it was everything was wrapping up. Yeah. And so it was more like thank you and like thanks for having us, that kind of talk, rather than like let's talk about YouTube and marketing and analytics and rev- you know like revenue because they don't monetize. Like yeah. let's, I want to talk about all that stuff with him because there's a very good, he knows what's going on. There's a very good reason that they don't monetize, and there's a very good reason that their channels are so big and like and part of it is them, but also part of it is like. He's very intelligent. Yeah. He put. He knows marketing. He's not well. like he doesn't put on that he's stupid, but he puts on that he's like seemingly a little more clueless than he definitely nope. is not clueless. So. Trevor Wilson said he's 24. Lies. I know a 21 year old when I see him. You know what I mean? Nope. <laughs> Do tell. So, uh, oh yeah, Matt from Whiskey Crusaders gave us each 12 scotch samples. I know. He was like each. handing them to me. He's like, all right, hey, I got your uh, samples in the in the car. Uh, I'll give them to you later. Uh, I was like, oh, that's cool, man. We can do like a, a live stream with them. We can go through them. It'll be a good time. He goes, yeah, they're 12 each. I was like, oh. First, I was like, 12 is a lot. Yeah. I was like, six a person. I was like, yeah, that's a good amount. Thank you. Lot, and yeah. he's like, no, 12 each. I was like, <laughs> Or like two streams or something. Um, I told him, I was like, we're not, listen, if we can't stream right away, we're not ignoring you. Yeah. I'm having a baby any minute now. And so I'm like, this baby's literally coming whenever at this point. So it's going to be a while. He's like, that's okay. Uh, I just want to make sure you guys Real quick, a while back, where was it? Uh, Who asked it? Someone asked what our favorite pour of the vault was. Do you know yours? No. Mm-hmm. So one of the reasons we weren't allowed, the, the, one of the things you won't see in the oh, video. Nick Foles. There you go. So here's the three things we'll talk about before we do the blind whiskey war. Mm-hmm. The three things I want to talk about are we can talk about the rental car situation because that's not really in there. It's kind of in there, but it's it's like brief in there, so we'll be brief here. And then um, I was ready to cut people. The what was the um, you can pull up your list. The Daniel part where he told us not to shoot. Yep. So you know how I was holding up the camera. Yep. Wasn't filming. So I'm holding it up, not filming. <laughs> Nobody knew this, and I didn't either until today when I started editing. Oh, that's so funny. You know when I was filming? When I hit stop and pointed at the ground. Because for, I got, I'm in the back of somebody's For like, two hours? Wait. Nope. Because I must have hit it and heard it beep and hit it again because there's about a four-second clip of me going like this to somebody's jacket. And we were outside. We, well, that's fine. He pretty much... Which well, is fine. We'll, we'll come in there. Yeah. And then the, only, the other thing that we didn't shoot was the vault and then the La Quinta we didn't shoot either. Yep. So, um, yeah. um, so yeah, let's talk about the vault real quick where Daniel basically, he literally, uh, got on a chair and addressed everyone and said, Hey, uh, this is not a night for networking your channels. This is a night for networking with friends. No, it wasn't a night for like creating content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what I meant was like just going out and, you know, networking in the sense of making uh, friends with people and just having good conversations while drinking good whiskey. Mm -hmm. And that was the entirety of the night. It was like just sit back, kick your feet up, enjoy some whiskey on us. Okay. I'll do that. Through both the old vault and the new vault. Yeah. So Daniel said that he didn't want us to shoot or make content. He said tonight's not about making content for your channel, yeah, which is fine. Um, and then we didn't do that. But the rules were you can have anything you can find in the vault, basically. Anything you yep. can touch, you can drink. And then uh, 
but a psalm, a psalm from their school has to pour it for you. Which is fine. But there uh, were there was, eight to ten. Yeah, there was at plenty least. of people. Yeah. Um, so that was that was a good time. Uh, it was really cold and windy, unfortunately. So outside having cigars is kind of a mess. Yeah, it was very cold. And yeah. we're saying that from people from Michigan. So Yeah, it was 40. It was 48 and yeah. basically kind of sprinkling sideways. Yeah. And then, what, so what was our favorite pours from the vault? Um, the new vault is super cool, by the way. The new vault is very big, very large. It's very, very like speakeasy ish setup yeah. wise, like really cool feel. Bottles fucking everywhere. I'll be interested to see how the lighting, and everything makes mm -hmm. it look. Yeah. Because they were hanging, the one was hot or two were hot. Instead of lighting, and I don't know how they're going to put the camera and stuff like that, but. Yeah. So, my um, favorite, so I tried um, Lock, Stock, and Rye. Mm -hmm. For the first time ever, it's like a two hundred dollar bottle, and I've always wanted one. And me and Jason tried it together, and Jason looked at me and went, "Oh!" And I went, "I'm so happy I've never pulled the trigger on this bottle. I'd be irate if I paid two hundred dollars for that. That I would feel so ripped off. Like you know how when you we paid two hundred for Kentucky L three yeah. batch three rye, yeah. and we're like, eh, it's just not two hundred dollar whiskey. Lock, stock, and rye was so far from that that I would have been, I, I would have probably thrown a fit. Oh, I bet I might know yours. What? Uh, my my favorite was that um, like Red Breast Twenty Three. Twenty one or the Dream Cask? Yeah, I thought he said it was like a twenty three. Oh, which is the dream? So you're talking about the Red Breast Dream Cask? Sure, that one. That's what it's called. Sure, yeah, that was that. the most outrageous Irish whiskey I've ever had in my life. Yeah. I told Sean as Sean was drinking something he enjoyed. Yeah, it was I a said, uh, I a single cask uh, green spot. That had multiple finishes Three on it. Three finishes on it. Yeah, and it was delicious. I said to Sean, this will ruin Irish whiskey for you ever. And he goes, Sean's like this. No, try to try this one. Try this one. And I'm like, I bud, I just need you to walk over there. Rotgut uh, had Ed, it. Um, from Rotgut yeah, Review. He had it. And I'm like, walk over there and just ask him to try it. And Sean came back and he goes, well, thanks, man. Thanks a lot. It's, it's It was, I don't love Irish whiskey. I love that whiskey. Yeah. They. I don't know what they did. I don't know why they did it better than everybody else, but they did both of those things. That's, so. that's probably my favorite out of the vault. Um, I got to try the Parker's Heritage. Um, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Um, what do you think my favorite was? Did you say you think you'd I think it's that, that Irish whiskey. For it's me? It's got to be. Oh, it's got to be the best. I don't even know what all you tried. We split up for a long time. I can't come up with anything that I was like hyper impressed with. That... Uh, I don't know, Cavallon, Cavallon, whatever you want. I'm trying to think of non-Scotch, because I had a lot of Irish and Scotch. That vault has so much Irish and Scotch yeah. in it. Um, Got to try the, the finished green spot. Was happy about that. What else did Jason and I try something else that we were not fans of? That's I can't I like remember to hear what about. it was. Oh, Jason and I looked at each other like, why do we do this? I don't remember what it was. Damn, the, surprises, the surprise Scotch pour was a fave. Michael Klein said. So here's the thing. We had a Kavalin. I think it's. I think that's how you pronounce it. We had a Kavalin that was some sherry cask finish in this big red box. It was like a leather bound book. And it was super, supposedly super rare and hard to find. And it was absolutely delicious. For a Scott, I've never had a Scotch that I enjoyed no, that much. It was something ever. that had like more of a sherry, like delicious nose on it. Oh, it just, but it wasn't like overly sweet and none of it was artificial. It was the most well balanced scotch and so good. It was. What did I have? Utterly fantastic. I don't know. I don't know if I had a favorite pour from there. It sounds like you were doing it wrong. The bourbon collections weren't outrageous, I wouldn't say. There was a lot of bottles, but I wouldn't say it was outrageous. Yeah. I'm trying to remember all the, because I know there were a lot of pours. Because we were just having, like, nips sipsies, of each, basically. Yeah. Little, little sipsies. Yeah. So, 88 in chat, remember to hit that like button. Please do. Please hit that like button. It helps us. Uh, we hit 2K, like, a couple weeks ago, and that helps us grow a lot when yep. you guys do that. So, we appreciate uh, it. Linus asked where we were at Saturday night. We were hiding. Uh, we went out back. Um, yeah, and outside. Just enjoyed a couple... Uh, cigars. A couple cigars and uh, a couple nice drams with some people out on the patio. Yeah, and uh, William Davilar was like, you guys like cigars? I don't." He was like, I don't know that much about them. Yeah. Come to find out, he's he a liar, a lot. Yeah, fibber, he knows a lot. Yeah. psych. He, he walks down with three olivas, or aliv olivas. Olivas. And he walks down with three, and he's like, pick one of these three. So Sean picked one, I picked one. We I picked the one I knew those. Dan wouldn't like. 
that was the only one I didn't want. The other two, yeah, I'm like, for I sure, knew. I'm in. And so, um, but those, the Oliva I had was great. Yeah. I loved it. And it was a perfect, what was that night? Like 50? It was like yeah. 52. No, almost like just a little breeze. Hands down, that Liga was my best, the best cigar of the weekend for me. I love that one we had in the morning. Yeah. That one I had as well. Yeah. I was a fan of that. We went to and, Specs. And that's then, not on video. Uh, Scott had one, and the guy was like, do you know how much those cost? Like, that yeah. was... Yeah, he bought them. One of the greatest moments ever was <laughs> Scott from Scotch has done these, starts smoking this um, <clears throat> diesel rabbit hole cigar. And I'm not going to say how he felt about it, yep. but I'm going to... I, he can tell you if you ask him. Yep. He wasn't in love with it. That's all I'll say. Nope. And so he set it down, and, yep. I, and and some guy walks up and was like, "Do you, and he started smoking a Drew Estate, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a Drew Estate Liga Pravada T52. And so he's smoking a Drew Estate. We're standing back there. So he walks up and they're like, do you know how much that cigar you're smoking costs? And, and he just like sideways glances at us and goes, like, yeah, I bought it. <laughs> I paid for it. And it was one of the greatest moments. Like, it was one of the greatest, like, of course, though. Like, why would you say that to yeah. somebody? But, uh, I, dude, I don't know. Hanging out in that whiskey tube part. Here's the one thing I didn't like. Oh. If that event was put on partially for people to go meet up with whiskey tube channels. Yeah. The whiskey tube channels. Now, I liked how it was laid out. But if that was the purpose... The whiskey tube channels were put off in the back by themselves, away from most other stuff. I get it. We're rowdy. But that made it nicer because, like, it wasn't super crowded. Yep. And only the people who knew we were back there and knew where we were at went back there to meet people. So I really enjoyed that part a lot. Uh, Captain Make It Happen at Hot Murray Rolls. I think you should do a Trevor whiskey tube calendar. <laughs> Dan will buy six. Oh, my gosh. Alex Julian in the chat. Hello, Junkies and everyone. Alex Julian is a uh, new sub. Yeah. Or a new patron. I'm sorry. So yeah, I knew what you meant. No one else knew. <laughs> yep. <laughs> ADHD visiting. That's like me saying, I don't know much about Little Debbie's. <laughs> yeah, because William Dad Lars like, I've been smoking for about six years. I'm yeah. like, holy shit, man. But those, Dude, Okay, those he knows nothing good. compared to the guy at Specs in their humidor. That I think we that's in. the only guy that knows that much. Dude, he is nerdy AF. Or he knew like he made the, all of it up. Yeah. <laughs> he knew the latitude and longitude of the fields that grew these freaking cigars. He was like, okay, dude, you got it. You got me. Thank God he saved me money on the Pappy cigar. Yeah. You want to know who would have been I rate if I bought that Pappy cigar? He's not in Everyone. chat. He's never in our chat. But I talked to him a lot on Insta. Bill Bender. Oh my, he would be fucking irate. Yeah, he would have thrown a. He would have probably never talked to me again. I would. Have I couldn't so. have posted a picture of that twenty two dollars no. cigar. Oh, speaking of that, so we got the Pinhook War bottle, which is Pinhook's vertical series that they started doing. Yep. Uh, that one's four years old, and it's about hundred proof. So here's the thing: we're gonna do a review of that here pretty soon. But we, the need, we got a couple bottles that we need to do reviews on pretty yeah. soon. The Pinhook War came from Dad's Drinking Bourbon yep. because I got a hold of John, who's the, he's like the me of their setup. Like he hand, he runs all their social, social media and stuff. And so I talked to him and he's like, I'm like, dude, that's by you? And he's like, yeah, it's just coming out. And I'm yeah. like, can you give me one? He's like, yeah, I can get you one. And so, and he knows the guys who like own and run Pinhook. They hang out with them. So they're buddies. And so I'm like, cool. So he brings one up here and I want everybody in the chat to know what else. You don't know this yet, but I'm so happy. He sent us one other thing that you're going to be not happy about this. But the other thing that he sent us was this hot sauce. Oh, God. Because he was in the chat when we were talking about doing a Hot Ones Bourbon Junkies episode. So this is Le Chosa's Hot Sauce a Pizza Habanero. Sounds delicious. I want, you to, I want everybody to see this. And here's what oh, I want. Oh, it's got three fires on it. Here's I what, what I want. it goes to. The, I want this Hot Ones to be crowdsourced. I want people to send us is hot sauces that they want us to eat. Peaches, water, corn syrup. There better be distilled a vinegar, pepper somewhere in there. Habanero pepper. Okay. Sugar, garlic, salt. Okay, that sounds delicious. So he sent us this. That's and got I a lot of habanero in it. I didn't know he was sending us this with the bottle. Okay. I opened the box and saw this, and I was like, oh, I forgot. So if you guys want to send us a bottle of hot sauce for the Hot Ones episode, we'll do the Hot Ones episode when we get five bottles of hot sauce. That's where we'll keep it right now. Oh. That, I feel like, is probably going to... Did you read the side of this? No. By opening and consuming this bottle, you agree to the disclaimer policy located on our website. 
It says if you die, it's not their fucking I fault. I would assume so. I feel like when you have to put that on the side of your bottle, it seems like it's a little bit of a problem. But so yeah, that's uh, that's the thing. And uh, yeah, Nick Foles, they're not supposed to be a very good twenty-four dollar cigar. They uh, they've the got guy's eight. Yeah, the guy said if it was eight. eight to ten bucks cigar, not bad. He said you can get uh, who makes it? Drew Estate. Same people. Yeah, make, basically. Yeah. He said that's a twelve dollar uh-huh. Drew Estate cigar. Yeah, is what he told us. So. That league is about fourteen fifty, and it's probably one of the best sticks I've ever had in my life. Brandon said, oh, Brandon, we got to meet Brandon. He yep. said, I got something better than that with Carolina Reapers and did my sample make it home. Yes, sir. The wild turkey sample is in the suitcase out there. You the feel like one. if we do this, none of them are going to be enjoyable? Not one will be enjoyable, bud. But yeah, but hot sauces exist that I'm like, oh, that's pretty good. You don't it's eat hot bad. sauce for it to be enjoyable. No. That's not the point. I'm just going to start. <laughs> you and me. I'm just going to start yeah. drinking a bottle of hot <laughs> sauce a day. You and me are both, we're both extremely bad with hot sauce. I'm going to DM Sean Evans and be like, hey, how the fuck do you do this, man? He eats it at literally all the time. And I would, assume, I would oh. assume he started at a higher place than you and me. There's That's what I would also assume. <laughs> If you're wondering, this, there, there's a shelf yeah. corner the, right there I'm going to have to take with a router. <laughs> or else I'm going did you to hit your head? definitely kill myself at some point while live streaming right here. So I'm going to throw we, my we'll head just back. move the table that way more. Yep. Um, XBell23 said the zombie is my favorite hot sauce. Not very spicy, just tastes good. If people will send us hot sauces, Sean will do the episode. Right? Yeah. You agree? Yeah. If we get four more hot sauces, I want it to be painful. Dude, no, you don't. Oh, I do. Don't. The, I'm problem, not for the problem is, like, it's pure not like. Pain. It's, I know. It's not anything that you just instantly get over. You it's don't. like hell. You never get over it. Because we'll never forget this episode. But we have to do it for the people. Dude, and then drinking hot whiskey with hot sauces. We got to pair them. We get to choose the whiskeys, they get to choose the hot sauces. I'm thinking barrel proof for all of them. <laughs> Might as um, well, yeah. Oh my gosh. OG Break420 says, I grow Carolina Reaper super hot. Pe- of course you do. You want to throw of our email address up on the screen? Sure. Victoria C said, How do I get your email? Dan puts it up on the screen and then you have our email. There you go. There's uh, you can DM us on DM us on Instagram or email us there. <sighs> oh. I saw it. Okay. I was Kishi Wines. Loved hanging out with you fellas this weekend. Really glad you shared a cigar with me. Don't feel bad about giving me hell for being ill. Dan, I'd totally do the same thing to you. That's what, so I said. He seemed to pep up midday. I told, this is what the problem. I said, Bobby handles being shitty, feeling shitty incredibly well. Yeah. Because I thought he was like, oh, I feel like he had his shit kicking boots on. He's ready to go. He had his alligator boots on. And so when we were there hanging out, we should talk about Chris too. I keep remembering parts of this weekend. When we were hanging out, I was like, I wasn't even going to talk about it. I was like, Bobby's like laughing and having fun. When yeah. I, if I feel like that, I'm out, man. I'm not laughing and having fun with anybody. Yeah. I'm drinking eight Pedialytes and trying not to die. <laughs> and so then come to find out he was actually trying not to die. It was just behind the scenes. Yep. That was the issue. So uh, I sent them $10 last night and said, I'm sorry for doing that to you. All right. Thank you, you for you the super to get chat. Into this? Cheers. Oh, I got to Appreciate it. So Chris, that stuff delivered. Okay. I just paid fifty-five dollars for that, but whatever. Oh my gosh. That's aggressive. Uh the other thing. What is good is that comes through so loud. Uh, while you're doing that, Chris got blasted at the vault. Destroyed. Blasted. Sam and Bobby parented him home. I hope he's still in here. I know Bourbon Sam was in here earlier. He said I just passed out Friday night. You did pass out. Sam and Bobby got him back to his room and he we didn't see him the rest of the night. Nope. The, those four right there, bud. Ah. And the key's right behind them. So I'll hold the key up to the camera so hopefully they can see it. You want to hand me that? Read this first. Nope. The other, the envelope. All right. So. Who is this from? I would look on that piece of paper over there. Pretty sure they're from Jeff Black. Uh, yeah, like because he sent his bourbon and rye, didn't he? Yeah. This is, yeah. yeah, this is Jeff Black. Okay. So, hopefully you guys will be able to see this. Don't oh, look at the... What are you doing? What? It's I'm just not... wondering why everything's clinking and clanking. 
I don't know where, where, when, and where they can see any of this. I, don't look at the screen. I was gonna You're see cheating. anything. You're cheating. Made out. But, don't uh, say in chat because we don't know. If you can't read them, I'm sorry. But I didn't have a way to put these on the screen. I just wanted to see if it was marker or pen. I think it's pen, so I don't think there's any uh, way you can see anything. Probably not. Because if I could see like starting things of words, I'd just not look. But uh, Bourbon Saint said, I didn't mean to pass out though. No, I know you did. That didn't. was your body shutting down. But basically. it's probably a good thing you did because I don't know if you would have been awake ever again if you didn't pass out. I feel like that would have been a nightmare the next day. And uh, weirdly, he, he was felt like better than Bobby. He seemed come to find he seemed like he was doing better than Bobby. After I found out Bobby was dying. Oh yeah. One. Chris also had some great photos of me. His eyes were slowly drifting further away from the camera. Just getting a little bit more strokey. Yeah, it's the stroke face. It's the old. At one point, we were in the vault, and Bourbon Sane looks at me. I wasn't going to say this either. Should I not say this? I wouldn't say this. Why? Mm. I don't, he didn't do anything wrong. It wasn't like mean or like, you think it was bad? What great. He may have mentioned thinking he might throw up because he had drank too much. I don't know if he's, I don't, but dude. And then he drove home. And here's the thing. We should say. He did not. He, he didn't drive home. He had the shittiest experience to get there ever. Because he missed the iron root pick, which sucked. Because it was an awesome experience. Okay. <laughs> You're just rubbing it in. What? Why would you? So it was a good experience. Are you going one, two, three, four? Yeah. I apparently put a lot of A in, but it doesn't look like it. Maybe um, A was just lower. Okay. So he got stuck on an airplane. Yeah, I'm sure like he'll talk one. about this at some point. But he got stuck on an airplane, which sucked. And then he got stuck like in Dallas, I think too. So it wasn't even that far away. Like that's like, he was so close to being in Austin, but yeah, eventually he made it, which was awesome. Hanging out with everybody, all these people we know. A whole lot of say it's in the chat. A lot of fun. Say it. <laughs> yeah, well Sean's being a, Sean's such a party pooper when it comes to talking about things that are fun to so talk about. Chris gave us the stank guy and said, I think I'm gonna puke tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what he said. <laughs> And you know what? I don't think he did. To his credit, I and I don't think he uh, thinks he did either. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> oh my gosh! Bird Singh said, "Lucky, I, luckily, I didn't throw up though." That's yeah. crazy to me that you didn't throw up. This is because ADHD our... fishing says, y "Yeah." This is because ADHD or Chris is young and in his prime physical condition. Bobby's seventy and has the streets of hiding. Or the, the stress. stress of hiding whistle pig re receipts from his wife. We kind of screwed that up, too. I feel like we... You're good at that it. That feels consistent, doesn't it? And I just kind of... It comes out at some point. Why are you taking these off that bothers me a little bit, you know? This you just want to take that email off the screen? Yeah, take that down. <laughs> Nick Foles, whiskey throw-ups are the worst. Throwing up 10 liters of Bud Light is way easier. <laughs> I will agree. Fred said, didn't the list only have three? The the list had, wait, did it have three? If there's three, you, it's a mystery bird. Did you pull up the the rye key? The other one I think said rye answers. Oh yeah, we did look at well, I don't think answers. we pulled the rye out of the envelope and, or put it back in. So. I don't know, man. We'll find right, out with this everyone. Is blind whiskey word. This is double blind for us. We don't even know what's in there. I am not incredibly excited about the Noah's on the first one. Johnny Drum. Or old Dusty pure Corn. Ki pure Kentucky. Dusty Corn. What's the other one? Old Bardstown. One of those. Very old Bardstown. Bottle and bun. <laughs> I go uh, very, very old Bardstown. Mm -hmm. Am I right? It smells like a Willet product like that. That's a musty some bitch. That's supposed to be stored in the refrigerator, by the way. Just want you to know that. Well, how long has it been out here? Because it's a billion. Not that long. I just brought it in right when we started the live well, stream. Well, I just wanted to set it out of the way. Don't forget it, then. You know what? I feel like that's not a good place for me to not forget it. Okay, I get cinnamon and corn and corn dust. For context, these are local store picks in a single barrel. I don't know if you ever reviewed before. No stealth 25-year-old unicorns off of these six bottles. Well, now it's 
kind of blind. <laughs> I've had fun sharing this summer. Hey, thank you. I'm actually, um, store picks are fun because they all like differ so drastically like those old scouts did. Oh, there we go. Upside down. I'm gonna, gonna mute the mic again. Sure. No, because right. Michael Klein said it doesn't matter. That was with the white mic on the table. Not the same. Our pick. What's that mean? We're supposed to pick something off this wheel. Pick something. Spin it again and pick that. I sp Our pick turned into a double spin. Quick review. There All you right. go. Jeffrey Wack, thank you for the donation. God, do I have to spin Cheers. for Michael we Klein? We didn't spin for I Was Kishy Wines. Oh, we didn't no, spin we didn't. for Bobby. There you go, Bobby. Jeffrey Wack, you get to pick what we do a quick review on. Hopefully, you can hear me over that. Sample. Sample. Bobby, what do you want to sample us, sir? It's going to be hot sauce. The end. <laughs> Send me some hot sauce samples. Uh, Michael Klein, because four ninety nine is for suck. Oh, my gosh. Jesus. Oh, okay. He did it twice. 104 in chat. People, this thank you 100. for hanging out. Thank you for being here. Okay, here you go. You, Dude, new set. You new take that ones. one. We're trying to hit those. We'll get cheers with these. Hell, this is, no, All the, everybody will leave the chat if we do this. Oh, my God. These are all fucking Sally's. Okay. Well, now people left the chat because you offended them all. Unless their name's Sally, and then they're like, yeah, I am. You no one saw it. You didn't see it. No one saw it. So little was spilled. Everybody, thank God everybody got to see that. I hope it was actually unframed. Okay. All right, so this is for... Oof. Michael Klein, thank you, sir. He just bought some Glens and Rock's glasses. We have Rock's glasses for sale. And then some bulbs. And then we picked him up a Bellmead uh, cast strength blend while we were out in uh, Tejas. Give him a Spinarooski, dude. Donor's choice. Michael Klein, sir, you get to pick. You get to pick something on the wheel. You probably have an idea what's there. Uh, and then he donated again and said, because someone has to round out the 99 cents. Double spin, I guess. Uh, I like that people are saying... Bob Bob All right. Um, I like that people are saying... Uh, oh. Incredible long pour. Cheers. Again. Thank you, sir. And Jeffrey Wack and Bobby and everyone. Mm, thank everyone you. Everyone for being Thanks here. Thanks, everybody, for just being in chat and hanging out. That's cool as shit. We're trying to start this event, and then everyone was like, have some donos. Can we show the one last thing, then we'll get into this whiskey war? Mm. The uh, La Quinta? I, I couldn't remember his name, so I didn't bring it out. It was like Scott or David. Robot Scott. There you go. Scott. Okay. Um. God. I was like... I. <laughs> it is a clear <laughs> challenge coin. I don't know if you can even see it. It's like an acrylic... Uh, extra acrylic coin yeah. for the La Quinta. It says uh, Whiskey Fest, La Quinta Inn and Suites, 2019. What a good Super idea. Super cool. He was Such like, a good idea. I had talked to him about him and they were trying to get him made out of glass and then he found where they'd cost and he was like, how about oh, plastic? Yeah. I know. That would have been outrageous. Oh. And he didn't charge for those. He was handing those out. Yeah. So like he would have, it would have been a huge loss, I'm sure, to do Sorry, that. Scott. I, you know who I am with names. Yeah. No, we're both terrible with names. So uh, Fred Gilbert, amazing long pour. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Uh, ADHD Fishing said, we're here for the bottle drinking. Hot Buttery Rolls was giving a shit for drinking out of bottles. But he did share his midwinters with me. He or, did. I'm sorry, his uh, double rye story. I was going to say, what was the finish on that double rye? It was uh, Pinot Noir. Oh, okay. Want well, to know what I just got another one of? Oh, that was the other bottle I got today. Hmm. A double rye finished in midwinter nice dram. Another one. From the same batch. Yeah. You like that bottle. I do. Oh, I thought you were being I'm sarcastic. Back. I don't know what that is. That? Oh, these are store picks, right? Yeah. I'll tell you what this is. Oh, it's getting worse. I'm going to be yeah. honest. It is getting worse. It's piney now on the nose. I kind of got like a stale peanut butter out of it. It's cinnamon and pine needles mixed and blended and actually into like one sludge. <laughs> so Sludge. <laughs> A sappy, it's sappy. Oh God! I didn't drink for two days, and now my palate's like ramp, raring, and ready to go, dude. I'm it, picking out. It's crazy kind of like a hobo with a knife. Is it, your palate right now? But you took it away for two days, right? And then Awful. you give the hobo a knife back, and he's willing. He's starting to stab. It's time to stab some shit. <laughs> oh my gosh! Here you go to be. It's the clearest item in the set. Hot buttery roll said that. What's the clearest item in the set? That coin? Yeah. 
Dude, we hung out with Hot Body Rolls and him and AD, him and if him and ADHD fishing get together. That'd be a super YouTube. That would be the Mecca. Super tube. I'm telling you right now. I I've already pitched the idea to Hot Buttery Rolls. I'm getting him and ADHD fishing together. I'm going to help fund, manage, I'll edit the videos, uh, I'll do their marketing, right? He's gonna have to still do Photoshop, obviously, but we'll you know figure it out. Uh, I'll do the marketing and all of everything except shoot mate, like they're gonna make the content. Sean's out, I get 30%. This is all I'm pitching. I mean, I literally will be at least a 10,000 there. <laughs> and I'm talking minimum. Fucking rolling in Minimum. It. Are you on beef? Yeah. All right. Um, Dreamhound, just joined. Looking forward to hearing about your trip when I watch the recording tomorrow. So here's the thing. We kind of we talked about the parts of the trip that weren't in the video that's coming out Thursday. There will be a video. It won't be that long. It'll probably be around the 20-minute mark. Well, okay. I don't have those on my screen. <sighs> now they just came. There they go. B, you know what? I, I'm going to need a second to, dis to dissect that. So this is for hot buttery rolls. Have the bottle, dude. Well, Jerry Boy just said, sadly, straight from the bottle. He said team. I wasn't going to throw that in. I'm going to let you read that. Listen to me right now, Jerry Boy. I don't even understand one thing. You don't come to my channel and say team Sean. You know what I'm saying? Don't be a bitch. Touch just the tips. Oh. Just the tips. <laughs> Man, this I got to. cheese pick is really good. I got to not. We, this is, these are not the bottles to do this with. I just realized that. Keep them out. There's somebody else. Um, I thought you just said these aren't the bottles to do with. As you can they're, different. they're here. So, I mean, what else are we going to do? You know what I mean? These sure. are all stored. We can't replace really any of these. Well, then why are we using those bottles? We're in the store pick corner. Dude. Boom! That's a good one. I'm not going to lie. Sample? Super Chat Showdown. Damn it. You get to start a new one. We don't have one currently. Oh, shit. Let us... Listen... I this the only downside to this being over here is way harder for me to update a sheet over here. That's what we got to figure out. I need a tablet I can update a sheet on. But Chris Frank says if you don't drink from a bottle soon, I'm pulling Patreon. <laughs> Listen, the people get what the people want in this channel. If nothing else, we're here to please other people. If you know what I'm saying. Dan is a people pleaser. Jason found that out. Touched his butt. Rubbed his nipple this weekend. God. In the least homoerotic way possible. It has a hard touch to the tips. Sometimes you gotta show them who's boss. Mike, Michelle Lynn, for the comedy scenes on the patio. Thank you so much for the $10. What? Is there. What? Boom! <laughs> I'm getting better at this. They're rolling in hot. Sample. That was from Michelle. You writing everyone's name down? Michael Klein can go fuck himself. What did you say? everyone's name down? No. Oh, shit. That's what I'm saying. It's too hard to do this. Bro. I got it up. Bro, bro, bro. Well, so we had a super chat showdown. I know that. Yep. And then we have two samples. Bobby gets a sample. And uh, Michelle just hit a sample. Sample. Michael Klein hit bottle fund. So, Michelle, how we do the samples now and something is, else. Yeah. you tell us what you like, and then what we'll send you a sample based off of that. I like BTAC. Don't send yeah. us that. Please don't send us that. I can't help you. If you send us something like that, I'm going to explain to you, you're going to get the worst thing on the shelf if you say, I like BTAC, as you're what do you enjoy. Um, does you say Rishi's pick, Bourbon Sane? Do you think he constantly types with his feet, or do you think he uses his fingers? Probably that. I've never seen a fully correct text message from him. No, this is Rishi's, bro. I know it is. He says, "This you say Rishi's? <laughs> all his... Nailed Rishi's, though. Yeah, got the heart. Well, Rishi's is Grand Rapids, that's why. He knows Rishi's. This is a Rishi's Eagle Rare pick. I got it today. Not a big deal, dude. Who's that for? Michael Klein. No, it's not. <laughs> Don't. No. No, you're not, dude. No. Hashtag Team Sean. Hashtag get the fuck out. How about that? Dude, Jason sent us some money. I feel what like I owe Sean money for his thong song performance in the car. All right. I forgot, I forgot about, about that. that. <laughs> okay, so Have a blast that. hanging, fellas. Jason, Thank I you. love you. I miss uh, you. I'll get this out of the way, and then Can't I'll wait to see you again. talk about that. No, come <laughs> here. Bring it back. 
That's the French kiss. That's oh, what yeah. call that one. Little, little, little cheeks. Mm -mm -mm. Will you spin the wheel for Jason, please? Yeah. Because Michael Klein. So Dan and Jason, we picked him up to go to the event, and uh, they were having this nice, lovely conversation about YouTube analytics and stuff. And I'm just driving. All of a sudden, the... Uh, uh, the, the radio was listening to this throwback uh, station. I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you. Did you start with what Jason and I were talking about? Yeah, like okay, YouTube analytics okay, and stuff reading. like that. Yep. They were they're actually talking shop. And then yeah. the thong song by Cisco comes out. I'm like, oh, fuck, it's my jam! And <laughs> turned it up. In the middle of me and Jason talking. <laughs> oh, that was yeah. the best fit you've ever had. I got a hold of that one. That was the best fit you've ever had. Sample. Jason, let us know what you want, buddy. Oh, um... Jason, did you buy both Eleanors? <laughs> yeah, Jason, did you buy Eleanors? If not, we can send you a sample of one of the Eleanors. Yep. I think he bought, he said one's citrusy and one's nutty, so he might have bought both. Okay. Or he sampled both. Yeah. He had both. Um, Bermstein said he had fat fingers, that's why. Oh, okay. So, okay. Um, now that I fully don't Rishi's remember. Is the pick still there? I'm pretty sure. It, I don't know that the Rishi's pick ever went on the shelf. I don't know how that went. I did not get it from Rishi or his store. I got it from... I gotta talk to you about this. I forgot I got a story for you that's not for the live stream, but a person here helped me obtain this pick and that pick at the same time. But yeah, so but I don't know if Rishi's, I don't know when that store pick was even released. I don't know anything about that. Jeez, Are you going to see? Why? Listen to me, I'm, I swear to God I'll leave this channel. I swear to God. You guys wanna see what Team Sean looks like? <laughs> Wait till I fucking leave this shit. Sean has said so many times like I'm, I'm not the person who's gonna do this alone. Like no. Sean's like, I'm just out. Like if we're not doing it, I'm just out. Yep. And it's like the one I was like, dude, we should come up. This is off camera one day. I go, we should come up with a plan if I can't go to Texas. If Ricky has the baby, this is like a month out. I'm like, if Ricky has the baby and I can't go, we need to come up with a plan. Sean goes, I just won't go. <laughs> I'm like, well, we already got tickets in an Airbnb and everything. And he's like, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna do this thing alone. I don't, not really. I'm not into that. Like this is. <laughs> it's just too much work. <laughs> yeah. You like, you wait to see what our Patreon offerings are when Sean runs this shit by No, they'll be the exact same, but no, yeah, they'll they never get mailed out. Yeah, I will never get do. fucking everything. Sean's like, how do you guys feel about this? <laughs> ah, fuck it, dude. I'm exhausted. <laughs> you know what our Patreon is offering? <laughs> Nothing. He's like, listen, oh. man, I was watching the Jeopardy last night, and I got real tired. I couldn't get up. Change channel to Sean Junkies. <laughs> okay, listen. You should all start your own little community where you can all jerk Sean off yourselves, okay? I'm not a part of that shit. I don't even think they care. They just love how upset you are no, about it. I wish you saw so hashtag. I didn't even see Linux hats. Oh, yeah. Where is ADHD fishing and why aren't people getting banned? Like, I'm so confused right now. This channel started as only Team Me, and now it's drastically switched. Oh. That's my own Klein spin. What is it? You pick our poor. Shit. <laughs> Here you go, Michael Klein. Gosh. Well, we got, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess this is Sam right now. With, oh. Uh, Mashin' Drum said he wants an Eagle Rare store pick, but I can get you an Eagle Rare store pick for, I think, $60-ish? I think I can do that. If you want one, uh, message me on Instagram, DM me, and I think I can help you out, bud. He's got a couple, but he just keeps. Well, no, I had, there's all. another one. Yeah, I've actually already gotten another one. I haven't picked it up yet. When's the when do your pick come out? That NBC one? Yeah, I don't know. They picked it, but it hasn't. That's as far as it's gone. Right. I get two of those. Do you want to do Linux Cat first, or do you want to do Ice Kishi Wines first? Hell yeah, dude! Hell yeah, my boys in the chat. I just see a lot of bands my going on. Is that happening? <laughs> it's just ADHD pitching. Just all right. Who's this for? I don't. I need to start writing these down. Linux I'm gonna cat? be honest, dude. Sure. You're still not. Sure. Michael. Michael Klein. Okay. You pick our four. Sounds good. Do you remember Michelle got a sample? Yup. I'm catching up. I'm sorry for everybody that's watching. Jason hit Samski, and he wanted a, a pick. Oh, he wants to get a rare pick. Yeah. Oh, that's what you want. But I can get you a whole bottle. I just it'll just be like sixty bucks or something like that. Uh, you want a sample? You want a bottle? You just gotta pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, he's. We were talking about it. And he's like, dude, I can't get an even rare store pick to save my life. You know what he can get? And I love Jason. I have two that. spins right now. I Old Forester birthday bourbon. Who's for? Oh, we you know what we didn't talk about is what we tried down there. Everything. 
Amaran Crane of the Gods. We did try an Amaran Crane of the Gods. Oh, it's a my solid favorite of the whole weekend. Bottle. I'll tell you in a second. All right. All right. Well, this one's for Landis Cat. Cat. Our pick. Our pick is going to the. Do we have a bottle fund right now? Yes. Bottle fund. Because Dan needs to keep shit straight right now. You're just doing it because it's easy. Oh, wait. No, he was so on our side. Fuck. He was on your side. Yep. Not ours. No, no, no. Because here's the... This is the... I'm going to be honest. This Super feels, Chat Showdown. That's what you hit. This oh. feels like there are two channels on YouTube that are that have two people on them that are not on the same team. It's Rex and Daniel and me and you. We got to talk about this because nobody will ever know except us. We're up in the old vault with... I wish I knew his name, and I don't. The Psalm? Yes. I don't remember One of the Psalms. He was a very nice guy. Awesome He was guy. a gentleman. We're up in there with just him. It's us three in the old vault, and we're looking around, and it's so cool, and like super like nostalgic or whatever yep. you call it. And very real. Uh, it's like putting a face on a yeah. name, but different, right? Yeah. So we're up there. It's like there. meeting Trevor Wilson. Like, get to see his face now, but I'm standing in the vault saying, oh, this makes sense. It's like if Trevor Wilson, it's like if the vault took its shirt off and was good looking. You yeah. know what I mean? That's it was. Thing. But so, <laughs> the we're up in the old vault, and it was so damn cool because as we're up in the old vault, Daniel walks in looking for a very specific yeah. bottle yep. of whiskey that was very rare, and I don't know what it is, and I'll never remember. It's a long more 16. Okay, and it was some gr- old weird green label that yeah. had like one of that, whatever. And so Daniel's like, I hit it from Rex. And he's telling the other sound this because he wants yeah. the other sound to help him find it. And he goes, I hit it from Rex and I don't know where I put it. Where did I put it? And the other sound's like, what do you call him? He's a squirrel. He's like, you're like you a just squirrel, bury man. shit everywhere. Yeah, man. I have no idea where you would have put it. So Daniel's kind of shuffling and They're looking. looking through the windows and shit, like yeah. in the Behind curtains. the curtains. Yeah. So then Daniel looks up in what would be probably considered their like normal or cheap scotch collection, part yep. of it. And he goes, oh, I bet I put it in this, this collection right here because Daniel will never look for expensive bottles of whiskey in here. Yep. So I'm like, holy shit. He's actively pursuing hiding shit. It wasn't there. It was in his private trunk. Yeah. But <laughs> We didn't get to see his like secret stash. But no, okay. So, yeah, I'm saying uh, Linux Cat hit Super Chat Showdown. So you need to throw something in there. That's two tonight. Oh, you said Super Chat Showdown? Yep. Okay. Linux cat, super chat. Yep. We Michael, we, we need another one from Michael Klein. Oh no. wait, no, he hit uh, whatever you told him to hit. Um, then, then we need another one for. This is what happens. You guys, you guys went too hard at us. We're, we're flabbergasted. Yeah, I can't keep up, and I'm so flustered. I don't even. We all know how to respond. William for... Davilar, no love for Dan. Hashtag Team Dan. I knew you're gonna go that, but this is for Sam and Bobby. I would see she wines. Super Chat Showdown. Was Dude, we're three? gonna fucking fill one out. We're gonna have a nice Super Chat Showdown tonight. Um, Super Chat. Which brings me down to William Davilar. Okay. No love for Dan. No, actually, uh, you get mm, nothing. It broke. <laughs> Usually, so here's how the channel started. Just love for me. I expected it to go that way. The difference is, I expected it to stay that way. That's the difference. I don't know clear. why. Our, Our pick. pick. Super Chat Showdown. Just we got four. Yeah, we got four. All right. Grand there you Holland. go. Was that for Davilar? That was William Davilar, who we were told tonight, well, the t- over the weekend, that we're actually saying the names right. That man By we, I mean a... Dan said it and mocked how... I'm not mocking it. Okay. I said it should be a cologne company. Dan said it in a way which I never believed would be right, and it totally was. How about that? Well, dude, I got When one. you were like, William I Davilar. got one. I was like, there's no way that's right. I was right, and I got one right now. Completely right. Ready? Yeah. William Davlar. Because yep. Dan likes he know Dan knows he likes to fuck. fuck. <laughs> you fucked it up. <laughs> I know. William Davlar. Because the ocean isn't the only thing that's salty. No. Get it? Have you, never had, have you never had seen what? Have you not? You never take. You not? <laughs> Community blend. We haven't had one of those right. in a while. So we have. And he said, just cracked open midwinter night dram for Ting Dan. After polishing up the first bottle of double rice, I'm going to guess that store pick. SP. Dram Hound was the one that sent it to me, so that would be correct. Oh. Dram Hound, you're the fucking man. And there she is. And just for you. <laughs> Cheers, me, sir. Hopefully I can fucking reach here. What's this? Don't take those shells down. Full proof pick. Oh. 
We haven't opened that in a second, apparently. Yeah, that, yeah. that was not the correct noise. I thought you broke her. Not High West lie. is way too strong. I just feel like you got to fucking... Watching... Oh, we'll get back to that. Watching Dan try to pour a 1792 pick like this and complaining that it's not pouring well. And then it was like, hey, bud, you just I'm gonna be honest. churn it. Not my best moment. Not my worst, but not my best. Mm, that is so good. <laughs> There's nothing better than that double rice store pick ever. I don't give a shit what anybody All right, says. And then we owe one for... Greetings, Dan, Sean, Whiskey Friends. Richie Z, thanks for being in the oh. chat. They all could jerk Sean off. He's such a disappointment. He'd never come. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Apparently, that was so <laughs> Michael Klein told you to only drink Peerless. We missed uh, that. Okay, Dark Meat Chicken. Keep uh, going, There's so many things. That's a good one. I'm not going to lie. We're not even going to get to this war. What the Community hell? Community Blend. I'm so sorry that we've missed all of your guys' chat. That's two community blends. Yep. We need four super chat showdowns. Who do we need them from? I don't. They're wrote down. I was Kishi Wines, Linux Cat, William Davilar, and the first one. Who was the first one that got super chat showdown? I hope you remember. If not, I'll watch this tomorrow and I'll figure it out for you. Bro, you got one job. I want you to know. Hold on. For the people in our Patreon who know about the advent calendar that we're doing there, I want you to know this. Okay. And I want everybody to know you know. Okay. I received all of the sample bottles. Yep. You want to talk about an overwhelming feeling was unboxing those. <laughs> because guess what? You saw a billion bottles. You're like, uh, 360. That's not bad. They've all, <laughs> that's what I thought. If I opened the box, I'm like, oh, oh no. <laughs> like, oh, I, you, don't work, you don't work with glassware. I understand what 361 ounce bottle looks like. I know, but do you understand that we have to fill them not with machines? <laughs> yeah, 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 I get that. <laughs> okay. Dude, I pour shit all day for a living. We'll be oh, fine. Thank God. So See? Here, here's the problem. They've all been through the dishwasher now with no soap. Just hot water, sandy yeah, rinse. you just hit sanitize. Yep. Go. Here's the problem. Did you put the caps in there? No. I think you're retarded, so. Okay, I'm not going to melt them because I have to buy new ones. That's so here's good. the thing. Here's my problem with it. Okay. I had to individually load <laughs> 360, 360 the bottles. Time. It took three full dishwashers to do it. I'm over it already. You get about 100. times. Ricky looks at me and she goes... You got yourself into a little mess here, didn't you? Yeah. And I go, yeah. yeah. And she's we, like, they, nice. We almost did 25. Here's the other problem. Well, the, if I would have done 25, I would have given you a bunch to do. And then we would have met at a later date yeah. with them. Here's your half. Wash yeah. a bitch. Because I want to be, I genuinely, honestly, want to, why I'm doing that is because I want to fill them in my spare time. Yeah. So in case Ricky has the baby early, you don't have to do it all. That's why I'm doing this. Mm. Because if you have, if I have to rely on you to do it all, I'm going to be very stressed out i'm gonna be honest here's the problem i'm a control freak and sean's a last minute person not that it doesn't get done but we're talking fucking deadlines and i'm like <laughs> until it's like 11 29 i'm like free my just pulsating like is it coming is it coming? Oh, fuck. i mean it usually gets done but <sighs> that's thunder and you know what this smells like? A nice rainstorm in July. Buffalo Trace store pick. That's what Linux Cat picked for a you know chat show done. D dark meat chicken, dude. Did we spin for him? Yeah. What did he get? Community blend. Okay, did we cheers to him? Cheers. Cheers. Dark meat chicken said to him. Hashtag and probably team long pole. Everyone else we fucking just missed in that 20 minute span. All right, you uh, team long for because I've nailed that. You collecting money for like a charity or something? You're Did, out there you know what it felt like? You know Robin Hood when the the old uh, raccoon is outside and he's <laughs> swinging that bell. Change, change. Trev Wilson, on. Dan truly does care about Sean. Just very, very deep down, like really deep. <laughs> <laughs> no, if we didn't like each other, this wouldn't work. Sean's a hard person to be friends with. Mm. You know, and like I am a hard person to probably work with, so I, I think we both understand these things. <laughs> I think that's why it works. Out, outsource that shit to a bus driver. I have another idea. I got a lot of ideas that I need to tell you off camera. You write them down? Nope. I'll probably remember one of the Solid. four. So, uh, put. William Davisar said Eagle Rare store pick. Oh. Oh. Are these uh, sh super chat ones? Yeah. So we're just going to pick random ones? What? For bourbon. Yeah, I know, but now we're doing store picks. Like, oh, we're, we're doing store picks? Yeah, because... Uh, he wasn't the first one to pick. William Dad, I know. Someone else, uh, Lynx Cat, said, Sean, since Dan has the attention span of a drunken gnat from my Super Chat showdown, I choose Buffalo Trace store picks. Who said this? Lynx Cat. 
So I guess we can do a store pick, uh, Super okay. Chat Showdown. Okay, so, so far, Linux Cat's got uh, Buffalo Trace store pick. Mm -hmm. we, got a couple, we actually have some good ones of those. Mm -hmm. And then... We got one in-house that I would think would go in there. Said, Eagle uh, Rare store pick. store pick. Which, honestly... Someone should probably just cheat and say fucking High West store pick right now. I feel like that's the only store pick you can't say. We're going to do bourbon store picks. That's what we're going to limit it to. I got two new 1792 bottle and bonds I haven't tried. You're so looking at most of our store picks. We got uh, Old Foresters. We got Nom Creeks. We got oh. some Woodfords. Um, that Whistle Pig. So we get to pick the store picks. Yeah. This is very interesting. We got Russells. Yeah. This is very interesting. We this got, got there are Russells back there. Woodford. They, if you name a store pick, we probably have one of them at least. So. Um, Bourbon Junkies from my pick, your pour. Dan only drinks along for their peerless. Well. For my pick, you pour. You want me to get that bottle for you? you might, I don't know where it's at, but if you can find oh, it. Try and find it. What do you mean you don't know he where it's at? He donated a fucking hundred dollars tonight. I guess I'll drink that. I found shit. it. What an asshole. You know, I meet him for coffee. I talk to him. I what did you do during him. that coffee meetup? I only tried to do inappropriate maneuvers twice. I thought no meant yes. It was so, I don't know, it was a confusing moment. I like that we can have this lamp on now. It's the first time we've ever really gotten to incorporate yeah. it. This took me a long ass time, weirdly. Like, it doesn't look like it, but it took a long fucking time. Getting the panels up was not great. Being behind, because there's electrical oh, boxes yeah, yeah, yeah. up there. I was like, what do you mean? And then getting, like, this stuff over here. That is a very heavy cabinet by yourself, come to find out. I don't know why you did that. I just, oh, we're doing a Halloween thing, so I had to do it. I need to get it done. We've gotten wildly off track here. Bourbon fame found that quick. Sure did. It's on the shelf that it belongs on. Michael Klein. Sir, I'm going to be honest. Dude, I've had like C I, like nine times now. I mean this completely. This is the most genuine thing I've ever said to you. Trev, we didn't make this lamp. It came um, you can fuck as, yourself. as a gift. Wow. Not Trev. I like Trev. <laughs> Trev and I hooked up three times. It was weird. It's about Michael Klein. <laughs> so, oh. I need my water. This was from... God, who did Oh, that? he said, no, read the chat. Dan, no. He said... Well... He said... I think I read it right. For my pick, you your, you pour. Dan only drinks a long pour of their Peerless. Oh, you're supposed to long pour it, dude. You I long, long poured it into, into my mouth. mouth. Yeah. Kind of. Um, I can't get the... We can't get the mics wet. Distillery. That's who that was from. I wasn't... That's fine. Was I don't it? have a problem with it. It got there. It eventually got there. Did you remember? Yes. Okay. Oh, Why I did remember. you say it? I was in the middle of drinking that bullshit. You drink it and try to think. There's lead in that. Peerless. Restillery. <laughs> There's Ooh. lead. The Restillery, we had an issue with the Restillery getting our Patreon, our first Patreon giveaway. Yep. Um, we, we actually sent our empty Pappy 23 in to be made into a lamp for our first Patreon giveaway. And in that giveaway, the giveaway was completely free for the people in Patreon. I mean... Yep. If you were part of the Patreon, it was free. Um, and it took two four months? months. Oh, I was going to go low side on it. Okay, let's call it between two and four Three months. Three months, yeah. To get to the person that won. You want to try C yet? Let's do C. I already did, like three times. Been waiting I'm, for you. I am in a perfect place intoxication wise. C. Mm. I smell um, damp hay. Well, apparently he said just kidding after that. Damp hay. It's too late, Michael Klein. Mm. I do love you. Do you really? I get the damp pay for real. Oh, shit. Hey, that's not cool, Michael. Hmm. Don't read that one. Damn, make Sean drink whatever he wants. Yeah, make Sean drink whatever he wants. What I would like to I drink. I know exactly what he meant. Dude, I, I already know what he's going to rip out. Hold on. Sorry. Can I guess? Yeah. Uh, Ten barrels. Nope. Oh, fuck you. That's some harsh shit right there. I just drink Peerless. It's just as bad, if we're being completely honest. See, this looks like a godsend. Like, he this just gave me... This looks like I gave Sean Elmer T. Lee, but realistically, this was a confirmed batch of so the tainted Elmer T. Lee. So if you go back and you look at some laser codes, and the ones that start with 15... Oh, it's got sediment in it. This tastes like... Bigfoot's dick. That tastes like dirty pond water. Yeah, 100%. Honestly. So that's the reason that bottle's probably two years old. 
But that was a confirmed by Buffalo Trace in the laser code range of Thank a tainted, God we don't have fucking Jephthah. Of a tainted line of Elmer T. Lee. And one of Sean's least favorite things are our Hancock Reserve and that oh, Elmer T. Lee. God damn. And I can't imagine over time it's gotten any better. It just tastes like a, a literally like still pond water. Yeah. That's because I every day I go out and put a little bit of our duck shit pond water I in don't it. doubt it. <laughs> I literally do not doubt it. There you go, man. I feel like we're even. You want to cheers, Michael Klein? Fuck you, Michael Klein. So, if we're being completely honest, Michael Klein is a fucking man. He is. I texted him while we were at the uh, Texas trip, and I said, this is going to sound gay. I, this is a word-for-word -word text out of nowhere. This is going to sound gay, but wish you were here with us, because he would have had a blast. He would have. He would have, like, we get along so well. Like, the circle, like, when we're getting along with people, like, he's definitely in. What? I touch every, every part, dude, I'm in. Like, if I'm in, I'm in. If we're good, we're good. Why don't we dump it for dumb shit like this, Johnny? No, Brown? yeah, you can't dump it, dude. This is an Elmer T. Lee bottle. I mean, I if I run out of Elmer, I'll drink it. But, no, you won't. No, I won't. But it's gross. God, it's real bad. Okay, let's get back to the whiskey work. I'm real. waiting on Dean. Thank everybody for the super chats. You guys are the best. You were spinning the wheel for Mr. Klein there. Yeah, I'll do this while you're doing that. You're on D. This is wet, damp hay. Our pick. Well, well, our pick was you pick our pour. No. And I just fucking died. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> it could have just been a you pick or yeah. All right. Nailed it. <sighs> um, dude, so I get, this is going to sound weird, cinnamon toast crunch. Uh, yeah, it's like uh, strangely bready. It's like bready, cinnamon, yeah. and kind of sweet. I've had it like three like times. It. I like, I, it feels like a weeder. I don't like I don't the nose why. as much as I like the palate. Like on anything else, that just felt like wheat. Oh, okay. This might be my jam out of the four. Comparatively. <laughs> Oh, all right. I don't hate that. Dark Meat Chicken said, Buffalo Trace should reimburse y'all. They should give me another bottle of Elmer. Uh, they didn't. They are never You know what? To. We didn't reach you out. You know what? We'll take a bottle of Elmer 100. Let's make it right. <sighs> don't talk. Dude, I'm not in the mood to talk about Elmer 100 right now. This, this by I far has God, the most. If somebody gets an Elmer, I got to interrupt you. If somebody gets an Elmer 100 and they're willing to sell it to me, I will send you back. I will buy... I'll fucking fill up our little 375 and send it back to you. And I'll pay for the bottle. I want it so this fucking This is the back. most, like, out of these ones, like, uh, cherry pie deliciousness. <laughs> Michelle Lynn said, uh, she gave us a super chat, $10, because I love the way you say my husband's name. I love the... I love your husband. I'm going to be completely honest. Yeah, you two people. Uh, oh, my out of, out of the entire weekend... Um, Can we talk about how fucking cool she was? Yeah. You realize we hung out. That's what I was going to try and say. We're like some oh. of the coolest people we got to hang out with. Easy. Um, just because you were like, hi, let's be friends. All I could think was okay. like, how the end. can I get all this group of people to live in the same place? The whole weekend. I'm like, we need to become ultra rich. And then we get all the people we really like to live around <laughs> each other. Like, I had this weird, like, sentimental moment of, like, I don't want to leave I Whiskey She Wines and Jason and Chris and, like, in uh, the Davlars and Trev. They live out in, like, Iowa. Hot it's buttery like rolls. Hot I, all of those people live all over the place. But it was one of those things where it's, like, I don't want, I, like, these people are so cool and fit so well with the group we hang out with all the time. Mm-hmm. That is probably My pick, be Fort Grain Woodford. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel it. I'm going to be completely honest. Shocking. <laughs> I feel like that should be a highlight. Donor's choice. Uh, so you get to pick anything you want on our wheel. Dan will put it up on the stream right now, everything that's on there. Oh, my god. Just gosh. to make it easier. Um, I, I can't believe it's taking you this long to feel it, to be honest. Um, I haven't drank in two days. I'm sober. Clean and sober. Where's my coin? Here you go. How long do you have to do it to get a coin? One day. All right. I was because she wines. They actually, um, they did the old detox last night and drank some water. And I watched their stream and drank water with them. I took a solid two off. 
We back in it. We in the thick I of it. I literally died on Sunday. I know you did. This is the other part. Nobody will ever know. We drove to the airport. Sean walks out. So I went to the truck and I went, oh, shit. All of our stuff's unpacked because we were getting the mics and stuff out. Yep. And we were putting whiskey, or moving stuff around. And so I went out to the truck. Um, and what ended up happening was everything scattered. And I'm like, shit. We bought, a, we bought six bottles of whiskey or something like that. Yeah. So I packed everything so that once, once we needed to leave, we could just leave and go. So I pack everything, and I pack the whole suitcase, and I pack the, the mics back up and put everything away. And then I we had these two little tiny sample glasses, and I, I and they were just like normal round glass, like kind of like a shot glass. Kind of, yeah. And I set them on the curb, on the not in the parking lot, but on the curb in the grass. And Sean came out. And Sean had been drinking for about seven hours straight, smoked a cigar for probably three to four of those, and slept about 20 minutes Zero of those. Zero of those. I never went to sleep. You, you told me you fell asleep on the couch and somebody woke you up. Me? Yeah. I woke me up. Oh, okay. So, okay, let's give it like a handful of minutes. But uh, we're talking in 24 probably, hours. Probably, yeah. In, in the, I can count them on one hand how many I slept. Because sure. I think Chris like kind of woke me up Okay. Um, when he was get, leaving the elevator. Like, hey, go to the, go to the airport. Right. It's like... So Fuck. Sean's a fucking hot mess. I was th- so when I walked away, I'd been drinking water for two couple hours, and I had, like I said, I peeked at the whiskey tube. I think I drank like back. ten bottles of water at the Quinta. Okay, well Sean was still a fucking mess. Oh yeah. And so, and I'm like sleep, driving to the airport. Sleep me, dude. Sean, so you, I don't, yeah, sleep slash and slash like probably dehydrated as shit slash lots of alcohol slash cigars. That Sean gave himself the hiccups somehow <laughs> and then had the hiccups the whole way to the airport. Yeah, it was awful. And then we got to the airport and the spirit person wasn't there. Yep. At the fucking, which was annoying as shit, but yep. it, it is what it is. And then Sean's like, where the fuck is this person? I'm like, bud, go through security and just go sleep somewhere. Just go, just walk through security and go to sleep. So what I did <laughs> was go to security, go through security and get a coffee. I forgot Why I was would you do that? I forgot I was still wearing a name tag that said BJ Bro number two. <laughs> that he wrote. And a guy was trying to question me about it and I was just like I, I literally partially through this conversation, I, I don't know man, I haven't slept in like twenty four hours. I, I'm just I don't know. He goes, Cool man. I can't believe you oh, know what I, I genuinely thought when you walk over scared, I'm like, What the fuck am I gonna do if they don't let him on this airplane? <laughs> like I don't know what I'm gonna... He's that drunk. He did real tired. Let him nap at He's that like all. a mixture of eight terrible things in one event at the exact same time somehow. Yep. Um, Captain Mega Happen said, Shambling Sean was a wonder to behold. <laughs> Gabby said, I had to serve him ramen all day. I feel, I genuinely I needed, feel bad for I Gabby. I needed electrolytes back into my You body. know what I'm happy about? I'm happy that Gabby got to experience partially what I experienced. That makes me feel a little better because now Gabby and I can like cope together at least. <laughs> Like, her and I can be like, you know what? What a mess. And she's like, yeah, what a mess. I'm like, oh, thank God somebody understands what I'm saying. We got to the airport the whole way. Sean's like, I, I gave myself I gave myself the egg standing on those glasses. I'm like, bro. And you're just going, Ugh. and I'm like, how the fuck do you have the egg up here now? It's fucking 4 a.m. You're like, we got to go to the airport. I'm like, but it's 3.30. Hiccups, like, no, no time. We got to go. I'm like, we don't have to leave till 4. You're like. Well, I'm like, I guess we'll go now. <laughs> it was a fucking disaster. But we made the plane. I was yeah. very happy. It was not, actually, that was the least stressful plane we've Worst ever done. plane to ever ride in, but. Well, we're going to oh. see how much noise you guys can what hear. What I learned was if we block that vent and that vent, noise cut down, probably 70%. Because those are actually open. Mm. So come to find out. I did that today when it was raining earlier, but it stopped raining. So. Mm. Needless to say, Gabby says, you're joking, right? I've seen him as this all the time. Not a piece of it. All of it. Gabby is throwing some heat in the chat right now. And I, I'm so on board with this idea. It's very fun for me. I'm happy Gabby's still here. So back to D. <laughs> all right, let's get into D. Sean's pours got heavier and heavier as the night went on. I want Sean pour a shit ton of hot buttery rolled midwinter night stream into a glass. Okay, you that was only like a two ounce cup. Know, but you didn't finish it, which was funny, because you didn't finish it. You got you went inside for something. I don't remember what it was, to go to the bathroom or something. Yep. And I walked over, I'm like, hmm. And I snagged some of it, and I started drinking it. 
And then hot buttery rolls, you were inside and he looks, he like completely looked around. He's like, uncorks and he pours me some. He's like, Sean, drinking all my shit. <laughs> like gave me some more. Dude, good times were had. I was being very responsible. I knew at some point we'd have to drive. Yes, I was. I at some point knew we'd have to drive to the fucking thing, and I knew it'd be shitty. And I knew like. Did you take a single sip of D? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Talking about Texas, bro. Yeah. Here's the thing. That. Can we say thank you to everybody? Because what a cool fucking trip, and yeah. we wouldn't do it if it wasn't for the channel, and Patreon. Honestly, like mm -hmm. if we're being mm -hmm. completely mm -hmm. honest, mm -hmm. it's fucking mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, we said that. We didn't say that. We didn't say uh, the Patreon part. Th oh, well, we did not say that. We already said thank you for everyone that, like, that put especially it on. anyone that came and talked to us. Uh, extra thank you. Yeah. Yep. I think... This is the coolest thing ever. Just I to hang out with cool, like-minded people. Hot Buttery Rolls and I made eye contact, and I didn't even know who he was at the point in time. We made eye contact. You ever seen Sailor Moon? Yeah. You remember when Sailor Moon? Debbie Man? used to love that show, apparently. <laughs> we we watched a bunch yeah, of that. Yeah, of course you did. It's a good show, honestly. Yeah. But you know when they transform, when it, everything just goes right? They're like, shoom, and they draw the circle. Me and Hot Butter Rolls had that moment Okay, together. I didn't have four two-ounce fours. I was only, like, I half-filled oh. it. And I was like, ooh, that was more than I meant to. Sean's feeling defensive. No. <laughs> Poor Sean. Oh, this is what I want to say. My favorite pour of the whole weekend. Who's dick you saw? This is including the vault in La Quinta. All right. Elmer T. Lee store pick. We were mid-conversation. I told everyone here. Sean, that me, and somebody else. We I'm were like sitting here remember. fucking talking. And he was and we're like, yeah, yeah. all of a sudden goes, whoa. And just walked off. It's like, fuck me, right? Sean cool. and I are literally, like, we're actually in a conversation. And I and there was another person there. And I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was. We're, at, we're in a conversation. And I go, holy shit. And, just, and I just jet. I just leave. I can't fucking do it. Matt from Whiskey Crusaders brought his luggage carrier boxes of whiskey. And he pulled out one of them. And I saw an Elmer T. Lee bottle with a sticker on the side of it. And that sticker happened to be on an Elmer T. Lee bottle that said, like, Texas something. It was from a Texas store. It's that nice little gold sticker that they put on them. It was, it, it's actually identical to a Buffalo Trace sticker. Yeah. And it was on an Elmer T. Lee bottle. And I'm like, I literally have never seen one of these in my life. I would... Pay copious amounts of money for Elmer Keeley. He blew him store for the last ounce. I hugged him for seven minutes straight. I did not let go. I would not let him out of my embrace. And the store pick, you know what it was? Glorious. It was great. It was everything I hoped an Elmer Teeley store pick would be with normal expectations. Okay, I think I got mine ranked. <laughs> XFL 23. Quote of the century. You ever see Sailor Moon? <laughs> Dude, everybody watched it as a kid, right? They were it's like very, seeing, did you ever watch Power Rangers? They were very oh, fucking they coarse. Were very attractive, I and believe. Well, did you know in the, the Japanese version, two of them were uh, lesbians together, and they changed it for the American version? I watched the wrong one. Yeah. Coming to find out. Just popped open a new Eagle Rare. Tastes like green Jolly Ranchers. I can dig it. Nick Foles, here's the thing, man. We have one that tastes like Band-Aids. Remember that? Uh, no, that was just a regular. Yeah, not a, no, he didn't say a pick. He oh. just said open a new Eagle Rare. Um, that is like uh, a super standout flavor for Dan. I picked that, it. Out I've of had a couple whiskey whiskeys. Yeah, a couple whiskeys that I have like a flavor in it. I was like, I can pick that out of anything, and that's one that he can pick out of most things. Is like that band aidy taste. Yeah, you're placed. Dude, Michael Klein. I agree, bud. We can okay. go on a trip, dude. We're, you know what? Find a place. This is this is buzz damn talk. This is a good mood damn talking. Yeah, that's why I just went on without you. We're planning a fucking trip, dude. I knew you were a <laughs> fucking is, issue. After this baby shit settles down, this and, baby and my shit. kid like wants it. I don't even know. Can hold up its own head. How don't you know? I don't remember how long that took with holding, but it took a while. About two years. We're getting everybody together, <laughs> and we're going on a trip somewhere. We're meeting in the middle of the country. We're doing a meetup. Fuck it, dude. Why are we're putting on a whiskey tribe event with it's drastically gonna be less funds? Wildly, yeah, and wildly drastically less, less support. But everybody's coming. Fuck it, dude. Who cares? I'll bring twenty bottles of whiskey, and we'll, we'll call, call it this a day. the Whiskey Hut. <laughs> oh my, we, this is for sure. We, we ain't got a vault. We got a whiskey hut. 
Okay. Okay, hold on. I always call this the Bourbon Junkies compound. Yeah. This is now the fucking hut. <laughs> this is for sure the hut. Holy oh, shit. Oh, that's the best thing that's come out of this live stream is that name. Mm. It reminds me of Pizza Hut, which I hate Pizza Hut. You got yours ranked? Oh, yeah. For this sure. Very bad news for me. Yeah. I want you to know that. Yeah, I don't think you've re-picked up any of them. Dude, I just D. tried D for the first time. Yeah, I know. You're a fucking uh, I'm liking here. B more now that i on the nose. Okay, okay, okay. I use a cinnamon bomb. I'm liking D less. I like C the least. Okay. Oh. Wow, all smell. that from smell, huh? It's gonna be a long night for me, I'm gonna be completely honest. Dude, what's happened? You don't drink for two days and shit hits the fan. I, weirdly, I felt, except being sleep deprived, I felt great on Sunday when I got back, except the sleep de deprivation part. And then Monday, I felt great, except the sleep deprivation part. Can you drop the graphics off the screen that has the, uh, the shit up? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Why does no one tell us this? My, uh... How the fuck did nobody say that for 45 minutes? Good old Gabby just messaged me and ran across the top and said, you've had the graphics up this whole Listen. fucking time. I've been less grateful when Gab Gabby calls you in the middle of the stream, and I've yeah. never been more grateful than when Gabby just said that in the middle yeah. of the stream. <laughs> Thanks, babe. You'd Thank best. you very much. Okay, um, it's between D and B. <laughs> oh, no, dude. Oh, okay. I'm feeling real mature right now. Uh, well, whatever you guys want Dan to do, he'll do for you know five bucks got, right you know now. I'll tell you that. One time ever on a stream we've ever gotten to this damn before. Oh, yeah, we've have. We're in it. Well, it was literally. Apparently, one people time. have said it. We just haven't been reading it. Dude, Mash and Drum fucking message retracted. You have your phone up. Yeah. So you got This is that, on Sean. You have the stream up too. I can't read. I don't have it up. Thirty minutes later. Hey, fuck, dude. I wanted to say this when there was a shit ton of people in here, and I'm sure there's not now because of 85. me. 85. What the fuck? Are you serious? I'm... What the fuck's wrong with you guys? So when anyways, do I lie to you? While there's 85 people here, if there's 85 people here, go watch ADHD Fishing just started a YouTube channel. And he put his new video out today, his first video. Oh, whiskey I didn't video. See it yet. We're watching it together after this is over. It's only like 10, 12 minutes. Perfect. We're watching it together because you have. I want to. I, is it the same stuff that he had snippets on uh, Insta of? Not all of it. No. Okay. So, that YouTube video is fucking hilarious, and he's just starting. Go subscribe to him, because he's yeah. amazing. Everybody in this chat knows he's amazing. Um, and go... He's our mod. He'll ban you. <laughs> subscriber, he'll fucking ban you. And I give him permission. We both give him permission. But really, don't. don't but, don't. hey, don't. Don't ban do that. Uh, so, <laughs> but for real, go check out his channel, ADHD Fishing, on YouTube. He is going to probably be putting out the best whiskey tube content, period. That's all I'm gonna say, man. I, you'll watch that first video, you'll think it's fucking hilarious. That first video is perfect. It's so good. He's a funny guy. He's a great guy. Uh, it's only taken an hour and 20 minutes for you to do this. Oh, almost, no, oh, over an hour and a half now. Here's what I want everybody to do when we place these. I want you to take mine with about four pounds of salt. I want you to take Sean's with more Minor. intensity and more seriousness. My rank. Hold on, wait, I'm A-Bing. You do that. There are definitely only, that says rye, Dan. Is there anything else in here? What'd you do with the other note? I didn't take the notes out of the envelope. Did you go over there and look? I'm gonna go look for a minute. There's no way in hell Jeffrey Wax still in here. And so we might not have answers to this whiskey. <laughs> Where would it be? I, but I pulled them off that fucking shelf you put them on the other day, but. Ain't shit in here. What the fuck is this? What's this box? Why is it so heavy? I'm gonna catch up with chat. Um, check, check either in there. In here? Or in the sample box that Holden taped and we put your name on. The one that said Sean. No, not in there, bud. Those aren't from, those aren't from him. Where are these from? Remember those are all those four ounce samples? Oh, yeah, fuck, there are some hitters in here. Yeah, of course there are, bud. We haven't really, like, broken it up. I need you to check something else because people are waiting. Stop opening the what? other sample. Oh, shit, sorry. Fuck. 
Uh, Fred Gilbert. Hey, remember when Fred Gilbert said there were only three? He was spot on. Jeffrey Wack somehow is putting shit, putting up with our shit. He's still in the chat. Jeffrey Seriously? Wack, if you remember ABCD or blind one, two, three, four on the, the bourbons. Oh my god, there's so much shit in here. Go ahead and throw them in chat and we'll go over them that way. Do these all have whiskey in it? No. Oh, but most god. of them do. Oh, okay. Yep. Good. Dude, I don't know where that is. I don't. I think he's fucking with us and never actually. Bourbon Sane said, "No pressure there, ADHD fishing." Dude, ADHD fishing is killing the fucking game, man. We will be the first people to help that motherfucker out. I love that guy. And his. Here's the thing. We wa I watched it. Laughed my ass off, and I'm watching it alone in bed, okay. which is weird that I put it that way. But I did watch it in my bed. So if I'm being honest. I called him sexy after I watched it too. Why is your mic muted? I called him sexy after I watched it too. Why do you think it's muted? Who gives a shit? People we... always complain about this. Oh, you muted it for the pretzels? Yeah. What a fucking gentleman. I would super chat you right now if I fucking could. I would. I muted for the pretzels being open. There's still probably 91 crazy motherfuckers in here. So here's the issue. There's no more paper. It's every wax in the chat, dude. So all I can hope <laughs> is he remembers ABCD. I tried really hard. Oh, I got an A. Okay, as he puts them in, you want to say where they're at for you? Hello? Test one, two. You talking to me? Yeah. So he's typing them out right now. Okay. A. Where where did where did it rank for you? Third. Third as well. Really? Yep. New riff single barrel store pick. That's why it tastes like it smells like that. B. I've never heard of this. Where did it place for you? B. Mm-hmm. Second. God, you're an asshole. <laughs> I put that as fourth. <laughs> <laughs> you must. You, you, <laughs> you just lost money. <laughs> The thing is, this channel, like, so it shows up as Bourbon Junkies. That's my fucking visa. That's Good to not know. the Bourbon Junkies visa. Good to know. No, you can't use it like that. It doesn't work. Yeah, I can figure it out. Um. B, <laughs> Backbone Five Year Store Pick. It's MGP, 137 proof. I didn't like it. I'm sorry, will you tell me that one more time? It's Backbone Five Year Store Pick. Which one? B. I put that one last. That what was fourth place. Four did place. I put it? Yeah. What place? Second, I think. Dude, that's C. That's B. I'm gonna stay with <laughs> Holy shit, dude. I'm <laughs> okay, keep going. C is a new riff single barrel store pick. I put that second. I put that third. Did I put this fourth? Do you remember? Dude, I recall this is third or fourth. I'm gonna put first or second between D or B. <laughs> okay. I hope everyone can just see the shit show that's happening right now. You see why? This is why I physically place my glasses in an order. Dude, if I'm not to this level of happiness, is what we'll call it, I don't have this problem. There you go. D is my no overall number one. Which I put in first. You did? Yeah. Maker's Mark, private select. Oh, wow. That's the first Maker's Mark private select I've ever placed above anything else. I really fucking enjoyed um, D. And I, what's funny so, is I thought C was weeded. What did you put first? D. The Maker's Mark. So Maker Mark. These are two make, uh, new riffs. Oh, I'm sorry. I was getting confused because of that class over there. That's why. Okay. Nope. For real. Go ahead. Maker's Mark was okay. first for me. This was the new rift. Oh, honey is what he put in There's there. There's no T in that, but yep. New riff. Okay. You're gonna give me shit right now. <laughs> I, this, I gotta really not. gotta fucking. I don't have a hairs. lot going on with this. This so. is the other new riff, okay. and this is the backbone. So you put the the you put C second. Yeah. And I put B second. Mm -hmm. And what? And you put B last. Dead last. Damn. Dude. Didn't like it. I so I thought didn't click for I me. thought B had the least weird youngness. Tonight is a stuff. sloppy Dan episode, Which not a DJ episode. I'm gonna be honest. It doesn't happen often. It's a pretty rare. He's occurrence. gonna be up till 4 a.m. now. Drinking water, walking around. This mm -hmm. is what I do. I don't go to sleep. You know, it's raining like a motherfucker out. Just two birds, one stone. Walk outside with your mouth open. Head up. Facing up. 
Dude, did you like the the super chat though? Do you want to? It wasn't five. Oh, so I just saw Gabby ta tag Aaron Ravage in the chat. There's no way that motherfucker's in here. Um, New season of Fortnite. <laughs> that's where the spin hashtag Team Day and Scary Peeper said. Yep. Aaron <laughs> Ravage is in the chat. We don't spin under 4.99. Fuck so. you. Wait, let's see. He's not in the chat. Yeah, yeah. What's his fucking name? Aaron Ravage. That would be pretty fucking solid giveaway. Great time to tune in. Already sauce. Sean's not. I am. We're, I'm paying Sean back for the fucking <laughs> La Quinta at 3.30 a.m. La Quinta. What did I say? Quinta. It's the same. It's not. Somebody already was upset that you couldn't pronounce it right. La Quinta. Not Davilar. Here's the thing. This is what you don't know. I've been, Ricky watches Jane the Virgin, which I told you about earlier, 1,000 times a day. The worst fucking show on Netflix. But there's a bunch of seasons of it, so it must have been good. Do you have something here real quick? It's a show. For who, me? So we can just cheers Jeffrey Wack for this. The Whiskey War? Yeah. Yeah. First place. Yeah. Thank you, good sir. Uh, I am so happy that Maker's Mark won for him because this is the cheapest... Um, Wheat whiskey that's ever probably won for you. You realize these are eighty dollars. Yeah, that's still cheap for you. For for weeders. Yeah. Horse soldier cast strength is sixty, but you're not wrong. Dan likes I'm his fucking fin expensive ass wheat whiskey. Mm -hmm. Weeded bourbon. Wor Woodford. Yeah. That. Well, let's crumb. be honest. If you guys watch Woodford review, we love that shit. <sighs> And a boy. The next Who time doesn't I, like pretzels, the man. The next time I see Dan, a Woodford weeded. About the entire bag. I need a whole pizza. Well, so you just got these new pizzas coming out. And I'm, I'm like, at home, I don't eat pizza generally because I was fat once. And so, <laughs> fuck you, dude. Just one? I'm a sort of gal throwing these ones at you. Just one, huh? So, I got to drink this for fucking Jeffrey Wack for sending us these fucking samples, dude. He sent us these and the rise we did last mm -hmm. time. Yeah, that's what we opened at the last live stream. Mm -hmm. Well... Fun you know, enough. I don't get sauce like you do no, on no. live streams. Well, not anymore. You used to. So, anyways, dude, Sean figured out his fucking limit on live streams <laughs> very what, quickly. What live stream like two? You're like fuck, dude. <laughs> Here's the thing. This is not what I should be doing. I showed everybody. I just hit myself in the eye with that. I showed everybody this fucking rye one. Not correct. Uh, de there's definitely no more paper unless we lost it last time, which. I only remember opening that one that said rise. God, where would it have gone? It had to be somewhere in that corner, but it, I mean, this place not. was not very big. Yeah, we couldn't have lost it. 300 square feet. We could not have lost it. Did you see that? No. I felt like Neo. You watched The Matrix? <laughs> Who's this for? Fred, Fred Gilbert, Gilbert. To my pretzel bro, Sean. Donor's choice. Anybody who is in the Patreon will enjoy the added benefit of the thing they will receive in said box with whiskey. That's all I'm saying. I'm not giving away anything else. You already know. I already told you about this idea. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I got two other ideas. Don't let me forget. I already forgot one, but I, I got another one. Yeah, we talked about that idea. We didn't write it down, so, but it will happen. Of course it will. Of course it will. I've been fucking charged. Donor's here. choice. You want to throw it up? Just what? in case. Donor's choice. Please you remind the me to take it down. Yeah. Please remind me to take it down. Okay, if I don't, Fred Gilbert. I feel bad because it's so much us. text that was on the screen for so long. Like our contact info, I don't mind leaving up. That I mind leaving. Oh God, up. that's so much. That's how much was up for an hour. Basically. Everyone just let it go. They're like, they're hammered. It's fine. Tell me more about these. Wait, 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 wait. What are we talk about, dude? With these videos? Aaron said, you, if you like bourbon, you should try vodka. <laughs> uh, Jeffrey Wax said, cheers, fellas. Glad to be part of this amazing, completely coherent stream. <laughs> I can still read, dude. That's a good That's a good sign. Willie Nick's cap. At ADHD Fishing, if you have a wasted Dan on your channel, I will unsubscribe. What the fuck, dude? Please, listen. We hit 2K. We moving on up. Jason from we Mash... Moving on. You're fucking making waves in the whiskey world, sir. No, we're not. <laughs> so, anyways. The whiskey <laughs> vault gained that, like, fucking on Monday. No, yeah, they gained that in the past six hours. Yeah. Um, can we talk about, we're going to mash and drum hitting fucking 5K? At the event, he hit 5K. Congrats to that piece of shit. You know what I mean? 
I fucking love that dude. He's one of the coolest guys in the world. If you guys ever get the chance to hang out with Ashton Jones, do that. All right, you figured it out? Which part? Hopefully, uh, we, he had time. Who, who? This works so much better when I get to this point with Sean reading chat. Yeah, Fred Gilbert has probably had time to look at that. You want to take it down? Take what down? The overlay. No, I completely forgot. Yeah, I definitely do, bud. I'm glad you said that. Hot buttery rolls, you're very welcome. He's talking to somebody else. Dan, I'm going to have to rewatch this entire thing and make sure his spreadsheet's right. Oh, I can tell you right now, the spreadsheet's very fucking wrong. Dude, I'm so sorry. If you have a Super Chat channel, please fucking email or DM it to me on Instagram so that I don't, because I'm not trusting anything about the spreadsheet at this point. Um, all I have under things to ship is William Davilar for fucking sample. I think I said it. Dan is channeling Sam uh, Saturday <laughs> night on um, Bill's channel. If I had stickers, I'd put them on my nipples. That's all I had. She got the Texas She tits. went Texas tits at the event, and she put stickers where her nipples would be, according to her. And so I called her Texas tits. We moved down from that. She walked around with those fucking stickers on her boobs the for whole the day. rest of the event. Yep. Um, so Because, like, I was like, what, what the... Huh? Dan's like, Bobby, Sean's looking at your wife's nips. It's like, <laughs> what? This feels like entrapment. Yeah. Yeah, she put stickers on. I'm trying to read the stickers. What are you talking uh -huh. about? Yeah. Says Texas there whiskey? were some good sayings came up with. I came up with a really good saying, and they said it last night on I Whiskey She Wines, and I right now can't recall it, weirdly. But they even gave me credit yesterday. They even said I came up with the saying, and now I can't remember what it was. Was it Texas tits? Nope, it oh. wasn't. It was something that happened before that in the trip. But <laughs> I don't know, man. The weird thing is I didn't get to this point on the whole trip, and I'm here now. Well, you got to make it 10 feet to your house. That's, so. Maybe that's the, why, that's the reason why. But, yeah, I don't know. Awesome trip overall. Yeah, yeah. 100%. I think we had a good trip. Um, um, I mean, no one died. Ricky didn't have the baby. That was stressful as fuck. That'd have been a bummer. That was so stressful. I, I had the old Visa ready. Let's put it that way. The Please. Visa was in the wallet. It's good. Good X. That reminds me of the cigars I want so bad that nobody carries. Oh yeah. Those uh, Fuentes, the unforg or forgivens or unforgivens. It's like the X logo. Mm -hmm. Fucking, I've had one. Never seen one. I'm about. You know what, dude? Tonight might be the night. You want to order some online? I'll buy yeah, go you ahead. one. <laughs> Who the I better fuck? get whole box. <laughs> we keep going this way. I might buy that eight hundred dollar. Remember that Bender Bill? Oh hell no. Bill Bender, holy fuck. <laughs> Bender Bill. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Well, this doesn't happen a lot. You guys are witnessing you witnessing guys, greatness. It's funny because everybody assumes everybody gets drunk that drinks like this, and it happens so unoffend. Few and far between, yeah. For me, I get to this point probably not once a month, honestly. Probably not once a month. It starts to get fucky for me. I'm very close to the point where it gets you fucky. You gotta take Dramamine real soon. Yeah. So I, like, now I'm done. I'm set. I'm clear at this point. Michael Klein said, so we smoking cigars and drinking all night. Should I come out? Come the fuck over, dude. I'll smoke a cigar. That seems like a terrible idea, but I'll fucking do it. Drive your ass out here. Fuck it. He lives a half an hour away. Yeah. Well, we'll end this. When he gets here, we'll smoke a cigar. I can bring, oh, I've got some in your I got a door. shit ton in the house. I got fucking 30 in the house. Why? What do you mean, why? It's raining out, I'm a too. cigar smoker. Oh, well, we're we smoking gotta... out of the porch. Yep. Fuck it. Michael Klein, get your ass out here, dude. Figure well, it out. Hopefully, Gabby's not still in the chat. We will, uh, <laughs> Gabby, we're not smoking tonight. Sean's going home as soon as we end. Uh, well, I don't know, man. We'll open a fucking bottle I don't want to open normally. Dude, we'll open it, Eleanor, and smoke a cigar. If you want to fucking go, Sean already said this. If you want to go to an event once a year, I thought of Eleanor. That's what brought me here. I think they're, when we met Rex, maybe you didn't feel this way. We haven't talked about this yet, even like off camera. Oh, go ahead. We met Rex and Daniel at the very end. And yeah. We met Daniel. I talked to Daniel like a small amount. Daniel was very busy the night. Oh, yeah. The 100%. You run around event. a lot. Yeah. Um, and Daniel and Rex were both both very busy at the actual whiskey, like the Bastard Ball of it. Oh, yep, Gabby's here. Yay. Hi, Gabby. Gabby, come out. Smoke a cigar. 
She's closer than Michael Klein. Like, closer. Come on over. So, anyways, what I was going to say was the Eleanor was, um, or the idea is Rex and Daniel are both so humble. Oh, a million percent. I said to, I, this is a conversation that's not on video. Nobody was recording. There was a picture taken that was on our Instagram that got a fucking shit ton of likes. No shit. It got the second most likes I think we've ever gotten. Hmm. And I'm like, you just put those two in anything and they fucking, you know what I mean? Do you tag them? But no, I didn't, they don't have an Instagram. They don't even fucking have an Instagram. Figure that out. So anyways, so, but we take a picture with them. I start talking to Rex, which is what I wanted to do, which I mentioned earlier in the stream. But one of the things I want to do is talk to Rex. So I got to talk to Rex finally for the first time. He's so fucking busy and everybody wants to talk to him. I'm sure he gets sick of it. But but you're the focal point of the entire event. And it kind of happens. You're the focal point and from the people who get the marketing perspective or who look into the marketing perspective or any of that part of it, that's where, like, you're that one, right? So oh, yeah. I walk up to Rex and I said, thanks for putting on this event. I'm very happy that you two have the reach that you two have because you two decide to use your reach in this way. So they use their reach to get all the channels together. Yeah, 100%. Um, Listen, I'm going to be honest. Not every YouTube channel, I'm not saying any names. I'm not to that point. I'm not saying any names. All the YouTube channels, if they had the same about reach. About 25 more dollars, we can get <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> Listen, all the, it, it's a very realistic thing that if every other YouTube channel had the same reach, they would not use it the way that Daniel and Rex use it. Yeah. I, that's not an argument. And if you think it is, you can fuck off. That's where I'll go with that. That's where he's at that right now. That feels a little aggressive. I won't apologize. But so anyway. <clears throat> he's not wrong though. I thanked Rex for using their reach to do what they did. They've used their reach to make a distillery, right? And they, which, which, I mean, we bought two bottles of whiskey. And so, and they've also used their reach to get all these channels together and get this community together to chat and hang out with each other and be able to meet other people. We went to an event that like realistically allows us to tell people about our channel if we so choose oh yeah for like all we had to pay our our flights in our stay in transportation other than that that event was free for us yeah there was whiskey there if and we I, wanted it i couldn't even imagine so like say we have 10 percent of the whiskey that yeah. they have yeah but could no. you imagine even 10 percent of the people that they just let in nope. to just have Take your way you want. have your way with the hut Let's pretend these 12 people can pour it for you, but it doesn't matter what it is, yeah. right? So they use their reach in a, spe and I, in a way, and I think that it's very selfless and very, um, I don't know, man, great. They're fucking great people, seemingly. Yeah. So what I said to Rex was, thank you for using your reach this way. Uh, I know everybody wouldn't, and it's crazy to me that you guys are so cool and so humble about this. Rex said it was just like a great, like we started doing this and this was an awesome accident. And I looked at Rex and I'm like, all right, man. And I didn't say this. I smiled. I'm like, not really though. That's what I said to Rex. And all I could think was that's bullshit because I know Rex is a fucking smart Marking. guy. Yeah. They've gotten to the root, the place that they've gotten. They have 300,000 subs roughly between their two channels right now. They, they make a shit ton of money on their Patreon every month. I think it's around $24,000, $25,000 a month right oh, now. Oh, just closing, Jay. It's out. It's public. That's public information. Yeah. <clears throat> I found it because it's public. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they make a lot of money on their Patreon, and they do great on YouTube, and they don't, they don't, uh, they, their whole distillery is crowdsourced and funded, and they let people <clears throat> vote on their distillery. But the whole point of it is like, you guys are so fucking cool that when we walk up to you and say thank you for this, Rex was like, I'm so happy you had like the channels and you guys, all these people. You guys would be a out. part of this, yeah. So are you fucking kidding me? Thank man? you for participating, like, is what he wanted to say. It was like, dude, what the fuck? You're the coolest people on the planet. What? Daniel and Rex are the coolest people on the planet. Yeah. And I think that that's great that they're kind of at the helm of the whiskey tube thing. It's one of those things that are like, don't meet your idols. I met them, they're great. Yeah. Rex is fucking awesome. Yeah. You touched Daniel. I did. He hates physical contact, if you're wondering. It's funny because I, Ricky even said, she goes, I looked at that picture and I laughed because it's you and Rex who are about the same size. And then Sean and Daniel, <laughs> Sean's a little taller than Daniel, but they're both like yeah. smaller in stature. Yeah. And she's like, it's funny because it's like you two. And if you guys would have mixed it up, it would look really like <laughs> fucking <laughs> weird. Yeah. She's like, it just so happened. Dude, there's no way he, he hates physical contact. He was the one that was like, get in he, here. He grabbed me. He will not let Rex touch him on their channel. That One time sense. Rex went to give him a hug. He's like, no, 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 Like, he hates it. I don't know about that. So he put down for the, for that type of shit. Dude, but he would just, like, people. get on in here. They're he was so people, awesome man. about it. They're both if he cool. does, 
Good for you, sir. Also, we didn't, this is not on our fucking video on Thursday, but I want everybody to know this is still in the chat. Probably all 25 of you. I haven't seen it in a minute. Daniel and Rex both have stunt doubles. Oh, for sure. They both have stunt double. This is fake news. One is another channel. What? Isn't that one guy a different channel? I'm not that I'm aware of. Oh, is it them? Yeah. Oh. They another guy doubles. just works for him. Yes, they both work for them. Okay. One's part of the art bag cult. Yeah. He looks a lot like Rex. Mm -hmm. if, if at a glance, he looks a lot like Rex. We were walking up the stairs to the tower that the, the, the vault yeah. is in. And it was like, oh, hey. Nope. That is not Rex. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's weird. And then Daniel has somebody with a long beard, different color beard, but otherwise he dresses the same and is the same. I didn't know he's part of the Ardbeg Same cult. stature okay. as Daniel. The Daniel guy's not part of the Ardbeg cult. The Rex guy no, is. No, the part Rex of the guy is, yeah. Because yeah. he was in the hoodie at the end with the yep. thing. Yeah. He was there. Um, okay. It's very interesting. Gorgeous campus. Awesome event. Thank you guys for letting us go there. Yeah. All right. What else you got, bud? What's oh, no. chat look like, dude? Anything in chat? Hit the like button. Anything in chat? Uh, yeah, Aaron like Ravage just screamed out Victory Royale. What the fuck does that mean? I think he won a game Fortnite. Dude, Fortnite, here's the thing, dude. Let's talk about this for 30 seconds because nobody will be interested in this. Didn't they just fucking shut her down in a black hole? Oh, yeah, they deleted their Twitter, deleted everything, everything on social media, and it was just a live stream of a black hole going on. It's up now. They're good. Can I tell you how baller of a move that is? Oh, yeah. You imagine you've one of the, let, let's call it literally one of the biggest things on the planet. Shit and money, doing whatever you want. Uh, on the, like globally, one of the largest things ever. And you just go, guess what? It's gone. And pretend for real it's gone. <laughs> fucking crazy, man. Those guys are so fucking smart. I'm so, I should go into marketing. I'm so interested in it. Like it's actually fucking interesting. My client said 82 that can't walk, can't walk away from this train wreck. Who said that? Michael Clark. <laughs> he's Bro, driving, are you coming over he's for a cigar here right or now. what? What the fuck's going on, man? He said no. He really backed down and chaffed to Gabby. So. I'm going to bust in that place like a fucking Kool-Aid man. That's the text he sent me, and that's a quote. I'm not exaggerating any of that. You're not supposed to probably say that on chat. He, Why? He was backing down from Gabby. I said, get your ass over here. I'll fucking put it all in fucking... She, I, you're not coming. She will cut you. He can come. She showed me the knife. He can come. Sean's got to go home, dude. We got fucking time, bro. We got Jason time. Jason L., no, we're back home. We're no, no longer in Texas. I wish. Would y'all attend the whiskey school there from Nick Foles? I'm going to approach this in a professional manner. Probably not. Here's the problem. For me, it's a lot of money. $4,000 is a shit ton of money. It's a shit ton of money, and it's a shit ton of... Um, like, foc focus on shit that we don't drink. Scotch? Yeah. Nope. So, okay. So, this is the thing that they didn't tell us, but from watching their different videos in their channel, I've realized their different levels are through different parts of the world of whiskey. Oh. And so, I'll slaughter... What level is bourbon? So, this is the thing. I'll slaughter this part, but one could be bourbon, two could be Irish, three could be Scotch, four could be American whiskey. It's not okay. that way. But the idea is... So, here's the thing. For me, it's $4,000. Okay, level and one. then I can build on that to say, for us, like it's never going to be about us being like a psalm and giving everyone the, the the absolute breakdown of what we think something is. It's pretty much just two normal people telling you what things are. Um, yeah. like, I think I think um, a lot of the people that got, that hung out with us realized we're like them, probably we're right not experts. Uh, so we consume. A lot of different whiskeys, mm -hmm. and and at least I'm an, an opinionated person. I'll leave you out on that statement. You can include yourself if you'd like. <laughs> so, but because of that, I, I mean, we both have opinions on whiskey, and thankfully, honestly, we have um, differing opinions on whiskey. Yeah, and I think that because of that, it allows some people to relate to you more, and allows some people to relate to me more. Yeah, but one and we of the have things, enough content now that. People can definitely see where we lie yeah, veer. in whiskey. Yeah. There's a fork in the road. Yeah. And I think that that's beneficial for a lot of people. And if you relate to my palate more than you relate to his palate, then you can trust I'll like this because Dan like this or I'll like this because Sean like this. Yep. I think it's simple. And I think that's exactly how it works. And I honestly, I don't, 
a lot of the Psalm stuff is going to be history and a lot, I think, a lot of the Psalm stuff is going to be, this is where this, the distillery You know came everything from. about, yeah. This is how distilling works correctly. Now, how, figuring out how distilling works would be a blast, dude. But I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to learn distilling on a level you and me can do it here. No. I want to learn distilling at Valentine or something yeah. like that, right? Somebody that as, as is actually distilling. So that my my issue. I don't have an issue with the school. I can't afford to go. I can't afford to pay four thousand. Hey, we're kind of normal Linux cat. Yeah, we're pretty normal. He said too people. normal people. Yeah, normal people with a fucking. I would say quite a bit of whiskey in a fucking, you know, we've known each other for 4,000 years. Oh, shit. We so, missed a, yeah. a super chat. You want to read it? Yeah. It was uh, Scary Peeper. He said, you guys are killing it tonight. Thank you for the Sam. Cheers as how is happy Halloween. Sorry. Uh, Dan missed that. I'm sorry, man. I, I apologize. I do that. apologize, good sir. Yeah. So somehow we come back up and check out Peeper if you want. If you're having a Halloween party, we've got some shit for you. So. Oh yeah, we've got some truly life-altering, scary-ass shit from him. We're putting uh, bottle fund. Thank you. Holden's Halloween parties this weekend. So some of those are going up this weekend. We Do they to, all tap on the window or is just that one? All of them. God, those we're are fucking to, frightening. We're gonna probably uh, ruin bottle fund some kids sleep. Um, so like we we had thrown them. Was it a live stream that we talked about those? Yeah, we. Uh, I think it was last week or two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, yeah. They're the things that sit on your window. They're scary people. And they're motion activated. Tap. And if you tap, if you walk by them, they tap on. They've the got like a little piece of plastic. Their faces. Sit there and are on, on the tip of the finger. It's legit terrifying. It's a. I feel like it's a really good oh, Halloween prank. Oh fuck! I saw it not on a window. I was like, no, I'm good. Yeah, in the box. Then, I literally fucking die because I, I forget it is in like our. I know Gabby had put it like right outside of our bedroom window, and I just walk past it, and be like, well, that's how I shot through a window, you know? I that's so this, so my son's four. His Halloween party is Saturday. We're setting those up for sure somewhere. Those kids are probably not going to sleep. I will get us for a few nights. That'd be my guess. I need you to read ADHD Fishing's uh, comment. Bourbon Junkie, it's so hard because I know Dan likes Sean, which makes it hard to trust Dan when Sean doesn't even like Sean. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because when we go to events and we talk to people <clears throat> from the chat, some people... I like I have I go with Sean and like antique and all the like early yeah. times and this stuff, and then some people are like, dude, it's weird how many. I feel like, and I could be wrong here. I feel like more people actually probably follow your palette than my palette, but I don't like antique because it's bullshit. <laughs> did you read the long wall of text today? I did read the okay. <clears throat> we'll come back to that off stream, but Rayburn started streaming two hours ago. Damn. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, awesome, there's a Dan in rare form tonight, good sir. You should definitely rewatch it if you uh, want to have a good laugh. Once in a blue moon, I drink, I consume <laughs> to excess amounts of alcohol. Reserved for the gods. Really makes sense. Um, motion sickness and my equilibrium generally fucks me up. I actually feel very good right now. We'll see where this goes. Water it is, you say. <laughs> I said 25 more bucks. We can see what you eat yeah. for lunch. 25 more bucks, I'll throw up tonight. Well, it was a flurry of chat. My Dude, phone apparently I'm so is... happy Rarebird's in here. I haven't talked to Rarebird in quite a while. Rarebird, I believe, could be wrong, because I watch your Instagram. Was there a Russell's pick that you were just a part of or that just came out that you were pushing or something like that? Because I could have swore I saw a sticker or something like that that you were a part of. Could be wrong here. I've been loading up on Blanton's 375s. They're cheaper than buying two than 1750. That's fucking outrageous. And this is the comment I was referencing earlier. The long one. Did you read yeah. it? I responded to it with voice text. I was sitting there and like I was looking through it. And we were watching uh, a show and it was like. Yeah. It was a long one. Delete. I was like, I'm gonna come back to it yeah, later. No, I was I'm like, sure. I want full attention to it. It was yeah. like two paragraphs of text because, like, it was I had to read fair. more, and it was like, boom. I looked at Gabby and was like, Do you see this right it's now? It's a lot. We're like, All right, but, I'm they're fair context, but yeah. also in that sometimes, yeah. Um, so the person's genuinely looking for a conversation. Yeah, but it's in a YouTube comment, which is kind of hard sometimes. 
they're looking for direction and trying to read through the lines. Did you of read it? What we're saying. Yeah. You read a chunk of it yeah. at least. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it, it's hard. On TLDR. Some, for people who didn't yeah, see the TLDR, comment, someone who's upset really by our, our blends and our well, upset, but... our well or full proof, just saying that these are the best. Like, we were kind of eh on Blanton's mm -hmm. because it's, I mean, it's, we didn't feel like Blanton's is kind of worth where it's at right now. And we thought Weller Foolproof was the best of the everything minus W.O. Weller. Yep. And they were like, hey, I mean, not everyone can get it. So you shouldn't be telling people to not pick up Special Reserve okay. if they can get it. And it was like, okay, man. But, like, all we were saying in that context was this is the best Weller. Stop making special reserve. We didn't say don't buy special reserve. If you like special reserve, buy special reserve. If you like blends, go ahead, buy yeah, blends. Buy, for, buy what you like above if you anything enjoy blends, we say. Cool, yeah. Yes. Like go go with what you feel personally. If you don't relate to either of us, that's fine. Um, but we were just saying kind of like Blanton's isn't worth where it's at right now. Yep. So So did you see my response? I did not. So I'm obviously. gonna be honest with everybody on stream right now. Dan was like, fuck you. Nope. All no, cap. No, no, no. Because, see, these are the types of responses that don't get me fucking pissed off. When you come to our channel, here's the thing. Because I told Sean we made it. We got 2,000 fucking subs, dude. And we pay for our Adobe Premiere subscription with our channel. We do. <laughs> so, I told Sean, like, dude, we fucking pay for our editing software with our channel. We fucking made it. <laughs> so, but, for real, the, the type of responses that are annoying are... Sure, you guys don't fucking know, brr, 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 right? And then I'm like, you're a piece of shit. The, the that guy seemed like he wanted a conversation, right? Yeah. Around it. I'm on the shitter. <laughs> this is this is. I've got 30 minutes. This Let's is, do this. Oh, yeah, this is open hour, dude. I'm on the shitter, and I'm like, you know what? I'm not texting any of this shit, but I'll fucking voice to text it, and I'll second, I'll check it again. So. He said, you said, well, Weller Full Proof is the best one. Don't buy Special Reserve Antique or 12. Buy Full Proof. But I can't find Full Proof. Hell, I can't find Antique 107, right? Which I think is, mo it's our problem. It's your me problem. We can't yeah, find we don't any see anything. at this point. I have my dad source it out of Ohio to get me 107. And that was one of the points I made. And then his second point was, you guys were kind of lukewarm on Blanton's, like you said. And the problem is, he sees Blanton's on the shelf behind us, which is true. And Got a he, couple of them, he yeah. also said, he has also said, Blanton, you probably have Blanton's hiding. Dude, we have, we don't. Everything that you guys see is pretty much 90% of what we have, probably. Especially for Blanton. Everything's open. Uh, we're not bunkering really anything. I mean, look at all the, the picks. We've, like, we were giving Dan shit. He's got eight store picks of Eagle Rare open here. Yep. There are, uh, what, eight picks of... Well, I mean, including what's over there, probably over that of High West store picks here. We open everything. Yeah. But so what I responded to him with was, I didn't say, well, you shouldn't buy other wellers. What I told, I said, Buffalo Trace shouldn't make other wellers. What they should do is consolidate. If they can make foolproof to what yes. they're doing. Yeah. They, we they, said that, that they should just stop making they it with their line. They should consolidate their line. Oh, yeah. They should consolidate their line stop into one whiskey. Reserve. And they should make foolproof available for everybody. Stop making special Done. reserve antique and Weller 12 and foolproof and CYPB. Make foolproof and then make that readily available because now you stop making five bottles of whiskey and you make one. It should be easier to find. That was the point there. In, in our opinion, the best. The Blanton's thing, I told him, I'm like, listen, man, the Blanton's you see up there is gold and straight from the barrel, which are drastically better than normal Blanton's. And on top of that, the fucking... We don't have any Blanton's. I said we don't have any Blanton's hiding because it's not our thing. But our problem with Blanton's isn't that Blanton's is bad whiskey because it's not bad whiskey. Our problem with Blanton's is that there are... People charge $90 for that bottle that should be worth 40 That's one third of the problem for sure. Yeah. The other the second third of the problem is there are better whiskeys for $60 at the same... But available. Sorry. Yep. Same price point but available. The third problem is it's a lot of marketing... Yeah. And, like, it's just good. It's just fine whiskey is what it yeah. should be called. So if but. you guys ever have, a, like, a, a good conversation that you guys want to start with us, just throw in a comment like that. We we love um, sitting here and talking about stuff like that. Yeah. Because, no, this is, like, this is shit we about. talk about when we're not on stream and stuff like that. Yeah. But the other thing is that I want to say is Fred Gilbert just said, speak a minute. 
Did what do you do? Did you hear about Rare Breed? We did hear about Rare Breed. Yeah, We've he put it discussion. first over all the Georgie Stag. We fucking record these conversations and put them on Patreon. No, we shouldn't. No, Patreon is acceptable. Everybody there agrees with us. You know what I'm saying? Minnick's not a part of a Patreon. He put pa- so He's got a hell of a palate. For those, and Rare Bird might be in chat, might not be. I'm, I haven't looked at chat in mm-hmm. a minute. He is. Rare Bird's been there. Chat. He put Rare Breed over the full B tack line of 2019. Here's what I'll say. We haven't tried any 2019 B tack. That's what I'll start with. You know what I'm going to follow that up with? I've tried a lot Unless of Rare Breed in my life. W and George T. Stagg are both huge misses this year. Rare Fucking Breed's not better than them. Airball, rim shot. <laughs> and here's the other thing I want to say is so Fred Minnick's palette does not match our palette. Whatsoever. I'm not saying he doesn't have a better palette or anything like that. I don't know. But no. what I am saying is they're not the same. That's what I'll say. We don't like Jeff the Creed. He praised Jeff the Creed. I have not met a human being in person that liked Jeff the Creed. They're great people, though I don't think the whiskey's old enough. Dad's Drinking Bourbon has said some things that are very similar to that. We, uh, and it's not like what they're using either because I, I kind of thought it Bloody was. Butcher. Mm-hmm. Bloody Butcher Corn. Um, I was like, that is some awful shit. The, we both um, thought that, yeah. The pick that we just got through Iron Root on the um, YouTuber pick of everyone was Bloody Butcher Corn. So hold on. Rare, Rare, Rare Bird said, I'm here. Remember, it was a blind tasting. So Rare Bird, this is my only argument Dude, for the blind tasting. This is it. Sean and I have had um, far less Rare Breed than Fred Minnick, I would assume, and definitely rest, less Rare Breed than you have. If we put... A George C. Stagg and a WLW and a Saz 18 and Thomas H. Handy and an Eagle Rare 101. Next to a Rare Bird, you and us would 100% pick out the Rare Bird. Rare Breed. I'm sorry, Rare Bird. Not a chance in the world that you can't tell the difference between Rare Breed and, and George B-Tack. C. Stagg. There's just not, man. I'm, Rare Breed has They're... a profile that fits itself. And even... We did a blind rare breed, and we all, yeah. we both agreed they're very different from one another. The full, hundred percent, right? yeah. Uh, you would split it. I'm None sure. of them ever. Ryan Alves was the one that gave us the. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. So, anyways, but never ever did we think we weren't drinking rare breeds. Yeah. Never once did we think. I wonder if this is B tack. It never felt. We've had George C. Stags blind, and we've had WLW's blind. Yeah. And we've had Rare Breed blind, and Rare Breed has a profile built around it that is so wild turkey, so not Buffalo Trace and BTAC based. Yeah. I just... I've taken things that are literally mm. the hearts of two different companies and putting them against each other. Yeah. And there's just no way you can't tell them apart. That's my only issue with it. Um, mm. So, Rare Breed, if, or Rare Bird, I'm sorry, bud. If you have... Uh, Rare Breed himself. I, I'm getting Rare Breed and Rare Bird mixed up. So if you have like a counter argument or something like that, I'm so interested to hear it because if anyone wants to ship me uh, some 2019 uh, B-Tac, B-tac, sure, we'll find them. Whatever the fuck, Rare Bird, Rare, so, I, rare know breed. I'm doing I know it. we're I fucking gave you it shit up. for we it. Keep doing and it, and I just did it. Whatever Rare Breed you want, and we've had some that are truly amazing. Yes, that I'd put against some really good shit, but and you're nothing, a huge Rare Breed fan. I am, but nothing to the B Tech level, and there's just no way that I can't. Out of even five or six, was the LLG code? Yeah, um, LLG H. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't that was know one that we had that was really good. The GIs. Yeah, I, I love. I'm a big rare. I, I'm a, I'm a rare breed fan. Fan. Sean's a much bigger one than I. Yeah. I'm also a BTAC fan, but those two flavor profiles. If we're willing to say that Fred Minnick has his palate that we should all trust. We should also be willing to assume Fred Minnick has tasted so much fucking whiskey at this point. He knows what profiles from each distillery tastes like, right? So if you're willing to accept that Daniel from Whiskey Vault is Sam and can pick out different uh, houses of whiskey, Fred Minnick, I would imagine, honestly and genuinely, can pick out different houses of whiskey. When blinds, when you can guess what's in the blind or what house it's from, you know what you're putting first. Fred Minnick knew he was putting wild turkey product first, or probably a wild turkey product first, over a Buffalo Trace product. See, uh, Ray Bird said take 10 bourbons and blind them and get 50% of them right, and you're doing good. I agree. Um, but 
So did, I mean, a, was it double blind? Did he not know what was in there? Is a thing. No, no, no. So we don't have to get them right. Okay? Yeah, yeah. This is the. So here's my thing. We don't have to get them right. Um, all we have to do is know what house they came from. Yeah. We don't have to get the. Listen, we just right. get four in front of us. I couldn't tell you what anything would fucking 100%. was. These are also store picks. These yeah. are also like new riffs are different. Some people can pick out new riffs. I. Here's the thing. BTAC is such a big deal. And Wild Turkey and Buffalo Trace are so drastically opposite ends of the spectrum for me. And I believe for most people. Um, I have no idea. D-Cells just asked if sounds are, taste, are tested on their tasting ability. Not in whiskey. Uh, I in don't wine? believe. Yeah. In wine, I think they are. I don't believe. I could be wrong. Don't. Um, no, no, no. Physically Fred doing... said 13 whiskeys, it's more of a problem with oversampling and frying the palate than being disge- disingenuous. Oh, 13 a fuck ton, man. 13 at one time is a lot. We, we at one point did 10. It was a nightmare. On the channel, we've done up to six, and it's and still a fucking many. nightmare. It's way too many. Um, and that's why we've tried to narrow it down to four every time that we try to do blinds. Yeah. Yeah, my, my problem is, so if you throw a rare breed in with, let's call it, um, let's call it eight other whiskeys that aren't wild turkey, I feel like, especially with like a VTAC, VTAC type of whiskey, and rye is included in that, I feel like wild turkey's, the one wild turkey product could be easier to pick out than the rest of them. I don't know. I don't know. It's just my opinion. I could be very wrong here. I... Fred Minnick loves or, or did very much enjoy Jeff the Creed, and I genuinely yeah, ten roses. dislike Jeff the Creed. I, I've not met a person that loved Jeff the Creed was he yet. Maybe when it's older, but it's not It's physically now. awful. Fred Minnick enjoyed it and then um, raved about it. I haven't had the bottle. Or the I don't know what he had because apparently whatever Jason had that we got to try was just mm-hmm. an maybe, off one. Maybe. Could, could be... I it, listen. This is coming from two people who enjoy rare breed. Oh yeah. I the old rare breed, the one twelve point six. I love the one. We have a three seventy five of it that Ryan Elvis sent us. I love that bottle. He loves the the what twenty seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, whatever mm-hmm. all those ones are. He loves those ones. We aren't like haters. We really enjoy that stuff. The problem is B Tac like. WLW, the first time we ever had WLW was completely double blind. Yeah. Somebody sent us won- four samples. We didn't know what any of them um, were. We didn't know anything I about do believe them. if you pull it up, we both were like, that might be the best whiskey I've ever had. Blind. Blind. We yeah, double it, blind. And it happened to be WLW against a George T. Stag and against the Tom Sage Handy and against the Parker's, Parker's Heritage Barrel Proof. Yep. It's not like they were against nonsense. Yeah. If Rare Breed was in that whiskey war, it would have come so far from first or second place. It would have got crushed. And it's not, like I said, we both like it. It's just but that is four so. versus, I can't even imagine doing 13. Thir- 13 is a lot, man. But he's on like the San Francisco thing, so he does that. They that's do like 70 bullshit. over what, three what? or four days. <clears throat> this is the thing, we've never had the McKenna he had. It's all bullshit. Maybe, I don't know, man. It's an interesting thing. I think, I think it's an interesting idea in theory to take one person's palate into perspective and, and nobody else's. That kind of happens with Fred Minnick, whether he asked for it or not. So, how many bottles are in the hut? I don't know, 300-ish? Give or take. Probably 300. I We just brought back six from... <laughs> Probably 300. Give or, I just added... Yeah, okay. Probably 300. We'll give it three. I moved some of the store picks from the house out here, so probably, honestly, 300. But. It seems a lot less impressive in here. I think it's because we're very used to seeing these bottles. I think when other people walk in here, they go, oh, wow, that's a lot of whiskey. Oh, it's definitely a lot. It's definitely a lot of whiskey. My buddy at work who drinks a lot was like, I'm going to come over. I'm like, you'll die. It's not a big deal. You'll die before you get through it. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like. You start in the center, you'll definitely die. Give it a shot, man. <laughs> <laughs> start on the Scotch shelf over there, actually. Oh, yeah. Start that. in the bottom. Get rid of that for me. Yeah, I actually start with the cabinet. Yeah. So, the cabinet, I'll kill you. For the people in our Patreon, we're doing Advent calendars. Um, those people know about it. We have the bottles picked, and we have the sample bottles purchased. Oh, yeah. Just got to fill those things up. It'll, it'll start very soon. Figure out some form of packaging, and then get those out to everybody. All the bubble wrap. 
That's not. Yeah, but I kind of I want to send it to them in some form of a calendar ish. If I can, if we can't, we can't. But if I can, I'd like. We'll to. figure this out shortly. Yeah, we'll see. If you're let down by the packaging, I promise I cannot Dan's fault. imagine you will be let down. Well, it was a last minute idea. I can't imagine you will be let down by the whiskeys that are in the bottles. No. We said a lot. There is a we lot of money in whiskeys. In yeah, we figured it out to what it'd be um, for every sample. And I wouldn't be, if I could buy some of these uh, per ounce at that. Yeah. Fucking done. Sure, I agree with that entirely. Um, done and done. Uh, you know there's going to be some shitters in there though, right? Come on. Did you see our first advent calendar? We almost fucking died. You know. <laughs> Is that my phone? <laughs> All right, we're so gonna we're going to have to shut her on down. But yeah, needless to say, this is a super long live stream. There's still 74 people in here. Dude, yeah, hey, I hey. can't thank you guys enough for coming and hanging out with us. You guys are amazing for real. Um, this is honestly what I look forward to on Tuesday nights, just coming and hanging out with you guys. It's like, so when we started doing it, I'm like, this is super fun. And oh, I yeah. did it that one time testing the stuff, and yeah. I accidentally turned it into a live stream. Fuck ton of fun. Every live stream we've ever done and with then people. I told you, you're like, well, that's when you and I were talking, like, how often are we going to do it? You were like, ah, I, well, I was like, oh, I don't know, maybe, maybe like month, every other week, yeah, every maybe once weeks. a month. We did it back to back weeks, and I said, we do this every week. Yeah. Though. Sean's like, I'm Hands like, you're going to want to do it more. Just push, push hard. If it's not, by the client, we're, we're gonna probably die. about to die on camera. At least it's being streamed. Okay. What's it's, going on, dude? It's my client. Come on, man. <laughs> dude, step in here, dude. Listen, this is what we're about to do. <laughs> He's like, I'm not trying to die tonight. Nope, nope. So what we're about oh, to do is Gabby's probably, a pretty good shot. She's going to murder you. She wants me to die. She's got to drive 20 minutes to do it if it makes you feel better. You got better. a small heads up. Um, so... I don't think she wants to drive 20 minutes as much as she wants to kill us. I don't know, you? murderers. She might wants to kill you all. Oh, oh no. God. I'm not going on the stand, I can tell you that. <laughs> Needless to say, thanks everybody for watching tonight. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much, Jeffrey Wack, for sending us a sample. Thanks Hell everybody yeah. for Things the chat fun. and the conversation. Can't believe how many people are still in here. Texas Trip was great. WB Saffle is a very good whiskey, by the way. That it is. I got to buy a Bonnet Lillard from Sean. That's what I'm missing. To get a one or no, two. Two. Yeah. Batch two. But yeah, um, so yeah, anything on our Patreon that'll be going out <laughs> soon enough, we'll keep you guys updated over there. And uh, we're the Bourbon Junkies. And Gabby, I love you. She just said all the lies. This is, I didn't lie to anybody. I lied. This is only on Michael Klein and Sean. I, Gabby, knows I'm in the free and clear here. That's all that's, that's all that's happening. Um, yeah, thanks all for the support, for real. Uh, any, it means um, a lot to us. Hold that. Hold that bad boy up, dude. The bad Ooh, man pajama. I forgot about this. Any hot sauce you send us, we're looking for five. Uh, if we get four more, we'll do a hot ones episode, a hot ones style episode with whiskey. Fuck. Sean and I will both die. We'll see you there. It's going to be god awful. I Texas, will die for days. Texas video on Thursday. New review on Monday. Another live stream next Tuesday as long as the baby's not here. But yeah, you know the same. Uh, yeah. We're the bird but junkies. we didn't talk about that, but we'll be live streaming up until Dan... Dan's wife has a baby. Yeah. And then there'll be a couple weeks off. I'll post um, like on Instagram or Facebook yeah. so you guys know. But yeah. There'll be a little break. There's going to be a break Sorry. on live streams when the baby comes. Um, I understand. We're trying to please. bank episodes. There's, there should still be Monday and Thursday videos when the baby comes. Yep. Just not Tuesday night live streams for probably two weeks. So uh, thanks for watching. Thank you for all the donations tonight. Thank you everybody for all the support. Ooh. We're the Bourbon Junkies. Like, comment, subscribe He's before you leave. Sean. Definitely hit that like button. Helps us a lot. The proof is in the book. Double tonight, he's hitting fucking taglines. Killing this shit, dude. God damn. You don't know how bad I want to yell.